Asante tuwape na fasi wa Sapa School. Happy Sabbath. Happy day. God is good. All the time. You are not happy. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Tuombe. Our gracious master. Dear Lord, we come before thy throne of mercy this wonderful morning. To give thanks and honor to thy holy name. Thank you for the gift of life, and thank you for the gift of Sabbath. Dear Lord, as we go through the lesson of this week, we request your presence to be with us. May you guide us and talk to us in a special way, but at the end of it, let us be refined and be revived again. At the end of this camp meeting, dear Lord, we request for a change life that you meet us in our points of need. Let your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Uh, tuko hapa mbele na watakao tuongoza katika lesoni ya leo siku ya Jumatatu tutaongozwa na sister Irene Wasabili wa mbinguni na wasalimu wa mtambo amtambo tena tubarikiwe Siku ya Jumanne tutaongozwa na brother Dennis. Blessed assurance. Just smile. Blessed assurance. Thank you be blessed. Wednesday tutaongozwa na Dr. Moffat. Happy Sabbath church. Thursday tutaongozwa na sister Evelyn. And the moderator of the lesson of today is Michael Omondi. Uh, today, to call lesson Pele, lesson two of the new quarter. Now, today we are talking about the crucibles that come. The crucibles that come. Last week, last Sabbath, to Leona, the shepherd's crucible. And our key text today, in a talk of Petero wa kwanza, nne kuminambele, edi kuminatatu. And the Bible say, Beloved, do not think it is strange concerning the fairy trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened to you, but rejoice to the extent that you partake of Christ's suffering, that when his glory is revealed, you may also be glad with exceeding joy. So last week, tuliona Kristo kama mku wa shida zetu zote. Na leo hii, tunaona shida ama matatizo yanayo tokea katika maisha yetu. In the journey of Christianity, it's not an easy journey. And it's not an easy work that we are going to walk. So there are a lot of crucibles that are going to come on the way. And that is what we are going to see. And the author of the pit is telling us that, Beloved, do not think it is strange. Last week, tuliona venye yesu mwenyewe alipitia majaribu yote. Wiki hii, tutaona majaribu yatakayo tokea katika maisha yetu. Siku ya jumapili, tunaona surprises. Beloved, do not think it is strange concerning the fairy trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened to you. Wale ambao walisoma lesoni, tulipewa picture ama mfano zingine. Kwanze lisema surprises, painful surprises. 
can come in many ways. A covering across the road into your path. A sudden notification that you are losing your job. A medical test that gives you unexpected bad news. Betrayal by someone you loved and who you thought loved you. As bad as the pain can come, it's always made worse by the element of surprises. There are a lot of surprises in our daily lives that we are going to face. And we have just been given example. Kuna yale yatakayo tokea katika maisha yetu ya ukristo, ambayo ukutarajia yatatokea jinsi unavyo, tarajia mkristo asipitie. Lakini haya yote kuna imani. Petero anatuambia, tusipoteze imani, tujue mungu wetu yuko nasi. Siku yo ya jumatatu. Sabbat. On Monday part, it's talking about Cruzpos or Sardin. The meaning of the Cruzpos to me and me are that. These are the trials of Satan. These are the problems comes from the Satan. And we find here that from the book of First Peter, chapter 5, verse 8, it says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a rolling lion, seeking whom he may endeavor. From this money, to Nambi Wakumba, that Kuna matatizo inakuja, setani anatuletea kama sisi wana eh, Christians. It's because nuambiwa that kama mungu waliesa kupitea yi matatizo. The same case to us, as a Christian, we are supposed to burst those through crucibles. Because nuambiwa abo ya kumba that, it's like now the lion is, the lion is Satan. Anatafuta watu wake. Ila awese kuwafanya nini? Kwa meza. Anaona ya kumba that, wakati umeesa kuisha. That's where tumeambiwa ya kwamba, hata mungu waliweza kupitia ye majalibu. Na sisi tunaweza kupitia. Kama mungu waliweza kupitia na akaweza kufuka, what about us? Hata watu ingine tukiwa kwa kanisa, tukipata majalibu, tunasema sasa mungu wa wapi. No. Sometimes God allows those temptations to come on you. So that to cruise past you. Because tuliambiwa kwamba that this is a vessel used to purify. Yani kile kitu inaweza kuwekwa, Ina, na vitu na weko andani, alafu inaesa kuchoma. Like us, when temptation comes, ama masalivi kikuja, inamanisha ya kumba that's, kuna kitu ndani yetu inachoma. That's it done. So, kiona masalivi inakucha mbele yako, tunayambiwa that mungu, anataka kuona kama imani yako imesimama. Ndiyo, tunayambiwa kumba that you are supposed to be sober, you are supposed to be watching, because Satan is learning among us. So that we can know how to handle this, Temptation in Akuja. To Nambiwa Baba Yakumba, what is temptation of Satan? What is the temptation of these people and the Masaribi and Akuja na Satan? To Nambiwa, near Satan, eh, and attacka Kua, ye yake sim, Zuli. Natina to Nambiwa that, yes, Satan Kasiak and attacka Kuana that, and on our Kati Mesha. Na sisi tunambia kwamba hata sisi machalibi kikuja, tuweze kusimama imala katika imani ya abwana. Let us stand first in the faith, because we know that our blood has at best, hata waliesa kupitia yu machalibu. Hata sisi tukipitia kwa yu machalibu, tukue na imani, tunambia kwamba tati mungu anaesa kutusaidia. Tena hapa tunambia kwamba tati, ukiona shide mekukuzia kama yu mkiristo, unatekana kufanya nini? Be watchable. By doing what? Uwese kuomba, na uwese kusoma neno lake. Na hapa tunayambiwa hapa, eh, ata mungu haliesa kupitia iyo. Na akafanya nini? Akaesa kumushinda setani. Ata sisi tukipitia kwa hii masharibu, tunayambiwa kuomba tati, ata mungu anaasa iyo masharibu, yenye tunaesa kupita. So that ukiono mepata shida, usianse kulalamika sana.
Sometimes we find that some of us, when you get temptations, ama when you get trials, ndiyo sasa mtu anaenda kwa mungu sana. Wakati uko sawa, ato kumbuki maombi. So sometimes accept that one when it comes. And hii kikuja tunambiwa that you are supposed to pray what? For whatever comes at you, just rejoice. Because na mungu akonania ama akona eh, reason why those comes at you. So ni mandi inatuambia kwamba that. Tukiona majaribu na kuchia kwa saitani anayata majaribu. Inatakikana sisi tuweze kusimama imara tuweze kuomba Mungu atusaidie hata yeye anatafuta watu wake so let us try to complain to God that kwa nini tunaambiwa the cause of the temp- of the trials is Satan but sometimes God allow those temptation to come unto you so that to strengthen you in faith so hiyo hiyo siku ya mandi tunaambiwa tuweze kusimama imara kwa sababu eh, Lion tunaambia Satan anapita humu kutafuta watu wake. Na yeye ameona hataki watu waweze ku aweze kukufa yeye peke yake. So ni mande inatuambia sisi kama wa Kristo tukipata temptation tuweze kuomba Mungu atusaidie na saiti yote tunachua hata our platters of the bus wameshapitia hayo. Na sisi tukipitia tunaambia kwamba that Mungu atatusaidia na tunaweza kupita hiyo. The last statement inasema that hapo chini so long as tukiwa cling ama tukiweza tukistick tukipind tukiwa na Yesu tukiwa ndani ya Yesu hata hii majaribu ikikutuchia tunaambia kwamba inaweza kupita so asubuhi ya leo na wazi kama sisi wa Kristo tuweze kustick kwa Yesu Kristo hata tukipata majaribu tunaambia kwamba tati tunaweza eh, kuepuka ama tunaweza kupita those temptation na Mungu awabariki kwa siku ya leo Thank you, Sister Irene, for that wonderful message on Monday. There are a lot of challenges that Satan will bring on our journey. There are a lot of temptation that Satan will bring to take you away of Christianity. But the good news is that God's Son has defeated the enemy, Satan, when we stay connected to Jesus. His victory is ours. Kwa hizo shida zote shetani atakuletea, Ukibaki mwa ukimwamini Mungu ushindi wa Mwenyezi Mungu utakuwa wako ukibaki mwaminifu So all the temptation the Satan will bring on your way you need to remain focused on Jesus Christ who defeated the Satan on Monday on Tuesday Happy Sabbath Happy day Happy Sabbath. Can you say hi? Happy Sabbath. Yes. Uh, the problems of sin. The curse of sin. From the book of uh, Romans 1 verse 18 we learn that for the Lord of God is revealed from heaven against all our godliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. So everything uh, you do as a human being has got the consequences. Kila jambo ambalo unalitenda kama binadamu lina madhara yake. Na lesson inatuambia kwamba yale ambayo tunatenda kama sisi wanadamu yako na madhara katika maisha yetu. Kazi ya Mwenyezi Mungu pale mbinguni si kuangalia kwamba fulani amefanya jambo mbaya ili amletee madhara. Lakini lile jambo ambalo unafanya kama binadamu liko na, na madhara yake ya kibinafsi. Kwa hivyo eh, wakati mwingine tunadhani kwamba Mungu mwenyewe ndiye anayetupea madhara ambayo tunapitia. Lakini kwa kila jambo ambalo unafanya uh, kijana wa mpenzi ya Mwenyezi Mungu liko na madhara yake. Kwa hivyo uh, we reap our consequences of what we do. Sometimes we go against the the the, the will of Lord. Uh mpaka tunaenda tunadhani kwamba tumemsahau Mwenyezi Mungu labda wakati mwingine huko hapa kanisani labda mwingine amekukera kwa njia moja au nyingine unamwachia kanisa unadhani kwamba eh, kanisa ni ya binadamu lakini unapokaa pale nyumbani ama mahali popote unaishi eh, shetani anakufuata pale anakuandama na anafanya anafanya maisha yako yanakaa magumu zaidi vile ambavyo ulivyokuwa unatarachia kwa hivyo ustani kwamba huyo ni Mwenyezi Mungu anakupanish Hiyo ni madhara ya ile addition you made 
coming out of church ulipotoka kanisani ukadhani kwamba umeachia mwenzako kanisa ama labda ume uh, kero na mwenzako kwa njia moja au nyingine umeenda uh, umesema kwamba mimi kanisa na, na mimi ni jambo mbili tofauti pale ambapo unaenda kumbuka kwamba dhambi inakuandama na inakufuata na the consequences of whatever you are doing there they will uh, haunt your life and they will uh, torment you at, the, at long last kwa hivyo many times god allows us to experience the consequences of sin wakati mwingi mungu anakuruhusu kwamba upitie ile jangamoto ya dhambi ambayo unadhenda na ukipitia jangamoto inakupea lesson in your life you learn something out of it and you will never repeat it again kwa hivyo uh, yale ambayo tunatenda tusitani kwamba uh, ni Mungu anatupea uh, punishment ama ni Mungu anatupea uh, lesson out of what we are doing but the sin we are doing has got the consequences so uh, sometimes we also even hit it in the wrong way wakati mwingine unakula chakula ambacho kina uh, adhiri maisha yako ama mwili wako unasahau kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu uh, anataka ana, 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 ana yako ionekane vizuri unapokula hiyo chakula ambao uh, uh, si mzuri kwa afya yako unasahau kwamba huo mwili ambao uko nao ni mwili ambao ni the Lord is temple so you eat unhealthy after umekula vibaya then you uh, you get the diseases maybe unapata kwamba magonjwa yameingia katika maisha yako labda diabetes imeingia hypertension ndio hiyo na mwishowe unapata kwamba maisha yako imepata magonjwa ni aina aina labda umepata hypertension maybe an hypertension sorry umepata uh, uh, diseases at long last unapata kwamba maisha yako imekuwa katika hali ya madawa ni sababu gani kwa sababu we mwenyewe ulikula vibaya ukadhani kwamba kila chakula ambacho umekula kwa wakati ule umesahau kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu anataka uwe na ajali njema na huo mwili ambao unapea chakula kibaya unasahau kwamba huo ni mwili wa Mwenyezi Mungu so our bodies are God's home if we abuse our bodies by failing to eat an healthy or to exercise or if we regularly overwork sometimes tunafanya kazi ngumu siku nzima kutoka asubuhi hadi jioni au pei mwili wako nafasi ukumzike leso nimetuambia kwamba we need to give us our lives uh, at times to rest unafaa kupea mwili wako nafasi ukumzike uh, kwa hivyo una, unapata afya yako imekuwa nzuri lakini sisi tunafanya kazi tangu asubuhi hadi jioni bila kupumzika na, na kwa hayo madhara ya kufanya kazi the whole day bila kupea mwili nafasi kupata kupumzika those are the consequences to you face when the disease comes into your life so ni vizuri tupea maisha yetu nafasi ya kupumzika ni vizuri tupea mwili yetu uh, chakula ambacho kinahitajika na yana ambayo unapitia usione kwamba ni Mwenyezi Mungu amekupea uh, uh, the consequences ama amekupea punishment the punishment has come as a result of what you are doing the punishment has come because of sin so the lesson outside uh, down there inatuambia in your whole life katika maisha yako how have you reaped the immediate consequences of your own sins ni majibu gani umepata kwa kufanya yale ambayo hayamfurahishi Mwenyezi Mungu what lessons have you learned umesoma nini kwa yale ambayo umefanya mabaya kwa, kwa Mwenyezi Mungu je kuna jambo ambayo imekufunza ama una unaashumu kwamba there's nothing you have learned out of it and you keep on doing it so there are lessons we learn from whatever you are doing what changes must you make in order to uh, not to go through something similar again ni mabadiliko gani ambayo ume uh, on board into your life that will make a difference so that you cannot face those challenges again so that you usifikirie kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu ananipea punishment what have I, where have I gone, gone wrong your sins alone they are punishing you madhara ambayo ya yale ambayo unafanya mahali popote ulipo yanakuandama na usimwekee lawama Mwenyezi Mungu kwa hivyo ni vizuri tunapofanya dhambi ni vizuri tunapoenda kinywa mapenzi ya Mwenyezi Mungu 
tunamuomba Mwenyezi Mungu atusamehe. Jambo ambalo e, inatuletea shida katika maisha yetu ni vile atuombi msamaha kwa Mwenyezi Mungu. Na at long last hiyo dhambi ambayo tumefanya inatuandama, inatuletea shida katika maisha yetu. Kwa hivyo jambo muhimu ni kwamba tunafaa kumwomba Mwenyezi Mungu atusamehe yale ambayo tumefanyia makosa na tusione kwamba ile kwanza kwa sababu tunapitia katika maisha yetu at your own level in your, in your life usione kwamba ni Mwenyezi Mungu anakupea punishment lakini ile dhambi ambayo unafanya iko na madhara barikiwe Thank you brother Dennis for that wonderful summary of on Wednesday Tuesday Ah uh, kitu muhimu katika siku ya Tuesday the crucibles of sin ni shida ambayo kila mkristo wetu ako nayo atujioni atuangalie dhambi tunazo shetani amefungua dhambi imetuweka atutaki kukubali sisi ni wenye dhambi kazi yetu tukiuja kanisani ni kutafuta dhambi kwa kila mmoja lakini lesoni na tuahidi tuangalie dhambi zetu sisi wenyewe na tuende kwa Mwenyezi Mungu jinsi tulivyo. Tukubali kwanza sisi ni wenye dhambi, mimi niko na dhambi zangu nimezibeba na ni ki, ki, kile ambacho nataka kuiona ni muangalie Yesu Kristo anisaidie nitoke kwa dhambi zangu. Lakini we do the opposite. We look the different things in church. Brother Dennis a better example. There are some wanasema nimekuachia kanisa kwa kuwa kuna dhambi nyingine ambayo ilionekana kasikia watu wanaongea juu ya hiyo anaachia watu hujaachia mtu umeachia Mwenyezi Mungu The lesson is saying we fail to live up to God's standards consequences do happen to many of us all of us will eventually reap what we sow either on this earth or in eternity on Wednesday announcement from uh, Deacon Department Deacon Deacon Sandy Conesis natakiwa pale juu kwa gate Deacon Sandy Conesis tafadhali unaomba muende pale juu pale kwa umbrella tree ana mali na sheria pale juu tuweze kwenda huko uh, thank you kwa tangulizi wangu ah uh, ningetaka tuende kwa secondary kidogo after primary remainder form 1 sasa there were practical subjects to kwa tunasoma one of them was chemistry the wiki or the, the, the lesson of this quarter takes us to a practical life of a christian yani nakumbuka after primary science ya primary pale mixing sand and soil hata wale wazazi wetu nafikiri mlisoma general science after mchanganya something in primary but ukifika secondary you are facing or interacting something new that you could mix some solute and some solvent uh, solvent to get a solution you get a new product so with he inazungumzia kuhusu principles that come that in the life that we are in maisha yetu tunapatana na changamoto na shida mingi till the situation you are in makes you feel like you have gotten to a new environment you are completely a different person not the person you were before so when we look at this week the crispos that come have uh, suffering have pain have consequences and for everything we choose obviously that's the effect at end sasa kile watangulizi wangu wamezungumzia wameanza kwa kuongea mambo na surprises about satan about sin na kwamba
very cute that anything that feels bad in your life to him feels like it's a blessing Testing can bring so many challenges. At times, that's a good one. I said, Lisa, that's a good one. 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 Thank you. 
creation that at the end of the day Jesus Christ is coming and he will take us home and the pain and the suffering we are experiencing now is for a short while. Really, Peter Pia and Elea Kulese, if you go through the book of Peter, uh, in chapter 2, Anatolese Okomba, the suffering that we are experiencing that is not just a fire. Yani, yale matesu na pitia, ambayo, si ya kwebi. for that good explanation on Wednesday. On Thursday, Sister Evelyn. Happy Sabbath once again. Tunaingia katika sehemu ya siku ya Thursday. Na katika siku ya Thursday tunasoma kuhusu the crucibles of maturity. Hii ni siku ambayo tunaenda kuangalia about mateso yale ambayo yanakuja kwa ajili ya kutuimarisha katika imani yetu. Ya kwamba kuna mateso ambayo yanaweza kuja ili ya kwamba imani yetu iweze kuimarika. Na katika siku hii tutaongozwa na fungu la linalotoka katika kitabu cha Wakorintho wa pili, 12 na fungu la saba ambalo linasoma ya, ya kwamba and lest I should be exalted above 
measure by the abundance of the revelations a thorn in the flesh was given to me a messenger of Satan to buffet me lest I be exalted above measure wayo tulona ya kwamba katika siku ambayo imetangulia kama siku ya hizi siku ambazo zimetangulia katika hii wiki tumeona ya kwamba we have crucibles ambazo zinakuja which are as a result ya dhambi zetu ama kwa yale ambayo tunafanya yanatuingisha katika shida kwa sababu ya njia ambazo tumeamua kutembea lakini tena tunakukumbusha kwamba kuna yale mateso ambayo yanaweza kuja katika maisha yetu si kwa sababu ya kwamba tumeweza kufanya dhambi ama tume fanya kitu chochote kibaya ila ni kwa sababu ya kwamba yanaletwa ili yaweze kutuimarisha katika imani katika imani yetu na tunaona ya kwamba Paulo aliweza kusema ya kwamba he had a thorn in his flesh na tunaona ya kwamba what was this thorn in his flesh tunajua ya kwamba Paulo wakati alipo alipoacha njia zake na akaanza kumfuata Kristo wakati alipoonekana katika njia ya Damaski uh, kuna vitu ambavyo viliweza kuangua kutoka kwa macho yake na ina kisiwa ya kwamba macho yake hayakwenda kukua vizuri is like he, he had a, a problem with his eyesight na ni kama ilimsumbua sana katika kazi yake na kwa njia hiyo ikawa ni kitu ambacho kilimsumbua kikawa kama ni thorn ambayo ilikuwa katika maisha yake ambayo ilikuwa inamsumbua sana na tunaona ya kwamba Paulo sababu alikuwa uh, aware of this uh, aware of this kind of trial naye akaandika ili kwa ajili ya kwamba kutuiliza ya kwamba kuna yale mateso ambayo yanaweza kuja katika maisha yetu kwa sababu yanakuja ili ya kwamba tuweze kuimarika katika imani yetu na what is the purpose of such trials ambazo zinakuja katika maisha yetu ni kwamba yaweze kutusaidia tusiweze kujiinua maana tunaona ya kwamba Paulo ni mmoja wapo ambaye alikuwa ame baada ya after his conversion Paulo aliweza kutumiwa kwa njia ya kipekee sana na Mungu aliweza kupata so many revelations akaonyeshwa so many visions akaonyeshwa mambo mengi ambayo ya mbinguni maana tunaona ya kwamba elsewhere kuna mali Paulo anaandika ya kwamba macho hayajaweza kuona masikio hayajaweza kusikia yale ambayo tumeandaliwa katika ufalme unaokuja kwa hiyo kwa sababu Paulo alikuwa amepewa mambo mengi na alikuwa amefunuliwa mambo mengi aka, ikawa ya kwamba Mungu akaona ya kwamba angeweza kujiinua katika maisha yake na hivyo basi akamwekea kitu ambacho kilifaa kumkumbusha ya kwamba a, a, kuna Mungu ambaye afai kujiinua afai yani kiburi kisije kikaingia ndani yake so that is the context of that verse. Na tunaona ya kwamba eh Paulo aliweza kuomba sana ya kwamba ile shida ambayo alikuwa nayo iweze kumuondokea. Maana akaweza kuomba ya kwamba Mungu aweze kumsaidia ili ya kwamba ile shida itoke ili aweze kumsaidia kwa ajili ya kufanya kazi yake. Ama maana aliuenda alimuuliza Mungu ya kwamba hii shida isipotoka katika maisha yake uenda hata aweze kupata nafasi nzuri ya kufanya kazi yake lakini Mungu akaweza kujibu ombi lake kwa njia ambayo ni nyingine ya kwamba hii shida ambayo go, this thorn in your flesh itabaki lakini neema yangu itakutosha kwa hiyo kuna mambo ambayo yanaweza kuja katika maisha yetu Mungu anajua ya kwamba hata kama tutaweza kuomba uenda hata aweze kuondoka katika maisha haya lakini anajua ya kwamba ataweza kutupa neema ambayo itatusaidia kwa ajili ya kuendelea kufanya kazi yake na kuendelea ya, na kuendelea kuishi katika maisha haya. Kwa hiyo kila ambacho tuna tuna tunajiuliza je uh, ni nini basi ambacho Paulo aliweza kufanya so that he could deal with this thorn ambayo ilikuwa katika maisha yake. Hii shida hii haya mateso ambayo alikuwa anayapitia ni nini ambacho aliweza kufanya Ika, akaweza kupata nguvu ya kuweza kuendelea maana tukaweza kujua kila ambacho aliweza kufanya kinaweza kutusaidia nasi tukapata nguvu maana kuna mambo mengi utaweza tunaweza kupata ya kwamba yanatujia katika maisha yetu si kwa sababu tumefanya dhambi ama tumefanya mambo yoyote mabaya lakini ni kwa sababu Mungu anataka kutusaidia ili ya kwamba yaweza kutuweka ina kututia discipline ama kutuweka katika njia ambazo zitaweza kutusaidia ili ya kwamba tuweza kumkumbuka Mungu siku zote na 
Nimeweza kuhimizo ya kwamba hata katika shida hizo even in that weakness tukumbuke siku zote ya kwamba Mungu anaweza kututia nguvu. Maana unajua kuna wakati mwingine Mungu uh, ame ame ameza loud some problems ama mambo mengine yakaja katika maisha yetu ili ya kwamba yaweze kutukumbusha yaweze ya kututia yaweze ku, ya, ya, kuimarika katika na kukaa katika imani maana uenda kuna watu leo hivi awange kuwa kanisani isipo isingekuwa ni mambo fulani ambayo wanapitia uenda haunge kuwa mtu wa maombi kama sio mambo fulani ambayo unapitia katika maisha yako uenda unge kuwa mtu wa kusoma biblia ama kujifunza sana kama sio mambo fulani ambayo yanakujia katika maisha yetu kwa hiyo mungu ambaye ametuumba anatu, anatufahamu zaidi anajua vile vipawa and those abilities that he has put in us anajua ya kwamba fulani namna ambavyo nimemuumba na yale ambayo nime, na vile vipawa ambavyo nimeweka ndani yake vinaweza akaweza akawa uh, ni mtu ambaye ataweza kufanya kazi yangu vizuri lakini kwa sababu ana upungufu fulani huenda ataweza kunisahau na, ku, na kuniacha kwa hiyo tunawekewa mambo mengine kwa maisha yetu ili ya kwamba we can still continue looking to Christ ili tuweze ku, ku tu, yani tuweze kukaa ndani yake na vipawa vyetu viendelee kutumika kwa ajili ya kazi yake. Na kwa njia hiyo tunahimizo ya kwamba we are made strong despite of the weaknesses despite of the trials ambazo zinakuja katika maisha yetu tunahimizo ya kwamba tunaweza kupata nguvu ndani ya Kristo maana kupitia kwake tunapata nguvu. Uh, na kama Paulo damu ambavyo naye Paulo aliweza kupata nguvu kupitia kwa Kristo tunahimizo ya kwamba haya majaribu ambayo tunayopitia all these crucibles ambazo tunapitia they are a constant reminder ya kwamba we can we, are, we can only be, depend on god ni kwa ni kwa kristo tu ama ni kwa mungu tu ndio tunaweza kupata nguvu peke yetu hatutaweza uh, na hakuna kitu ambacho tunaweza kufanya bila kristo kwa hiyo tukumbuke siku zote ya kwamba neema yake inatutosha na kwamba upendo wake daima siku zote uko pamoja nasi Tulapokumbuka hivyo tunaweza kujitia nguvu na kujua ya kwamba we can do all through Christ who strengthens us. Kwa hiyo himizo ya siku ya hii ya Aliamis inatupea ni kwamba despite of what we are going through, despite kwa yale yote ambayo tunapitia katika maisha haya, tukumbuke ya kwamba Mungu yuko pamoja nasi. Tutembee katika maisha ambayo yataweza kumpendeza. We be very humble tujiwache tuji mikononi mwake tukijua ya kwamba ni kupitia kwake ambapo tunaweza kupata nguvu namna ambapo tuna Paulo anatuambia katika kutoka chapter cha Warumi 8 18 ya kwamba uh, tusiweza kuangalia yale ambayo tunayopitia kwa maisha haya bali tuangalie the glory that is coming before us ya kwamba wakati ambapo tunaweza ku, tutaweza kuvumilia yale ambayo tunapitia katika wakati huu tutaweza kufikia yale mazuni ambayo tumeandaliwa ya uzima wa milele maana hilo ndilo lililo tumaini ku kwa despite of what we are going through kwa hiyo ni ombi langu ya kwamba uh, asubuhi hii ya kwamba in anything that we are going through tukumbuke ya kwamba sio mambo yote ambayo tunayopitia katika maisha haya yawe ya kwamba tumepitia yapo katika maisha yetu kwa sababu ya dhambi ambazo tumefanya ama kwa sababu ya mambo ambayo tumefanya mabaya no kuna yale ambayo Mungu analeta katika maisha yetu ili aweze kutuweka katika njia zake yaweze kutuimarisha ndani yake yaweze kutukumbusha kwamba sisi ni wanadamu tu ambao tunahitaji nguvu kutoka kwake that we need to depend on him that without him we cannot do anything na ni ombi la kwamba roho mtakatifu azidi kutuongoza tutaambue siku zote ya kwamba neema yake iko pamoja nasi na kupitia kwake tutaweza kuyashinda yote ndio ombi langu katika jina la Yesu Kristo Thank you sister Evelyn for that wonderful contribution on Wednesday. I want to give this chance to only two. One gentleman and one lady. Only two because of time for contribution. Hao wawili wasipokuwa nitaomba choristers wakuje Choristers, kindly, song number 155, Kiswahili. Choristers, wakimaliza, ntaomba mama Esther Manoti, atufanyie last prayer.
Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy day. Tunataka kumshukuru Mungu kwa nafasi nyingine ametupea. Ni wakati tena mwingine tunaenda kuwaletea kipindi juu ya afya yetu. Najua katika juma zima tumeweza kujifunza. Na leo tunataka kutamatisha. Kabla ni mleta mwenzangu aweze kunena nasi. Ningependa wala ambao tunao tembea aidha tusimame. Pali tumefika ama tuketi, tutulie, tuweza kupata ombi. Na tuombe. Mungu wetu unaye tupenda, ni wakati mwingine tena tumekuja miguni pako. Baba asante kwa sababu ya uongozi wako umbali huu. Tunaliinua na kulisifu jina lako, kwa sababu umetuwezesha mengi na umetuongoza katika juma zima lilo kuwa refu, tena tumeza kufika sabato yako takatifu. Tunapoenda kunena na wana wako, kipindi kikiwa cha afya, baba tunomba kuwa uweze kuteka mawazo yetu, ili yota ambayo tutakaya ya nena, uweze kuwa ya nayo toka kwako. Tuongoze hadi tamati, kwa nitu memba tukiamini kwa tatujibu, kupitia kwa jina la Yesu, alie mwambezi wetu. Amen. Nataka ni mlete mwenzangu, Dr. Donald, amekuwa akinena nasi katika juma hili siku zingine na leo tunataka kufanya kuhitimisha yale ambayo tumekuwa tukijifunza so nataka nimkaribishe bila kupoteza wakati aweze kuchukua kipaza sauti hiki na aweze kuendelea karibu daktari Happy Sabbath, happy day. Uh, kwa wiki nzima, tumekua tukiangalia maitaji yetu ya afya, kwanza kwa mili zetu, kwa familia zetu, and in our environment. So today we are winding up, eh? but on a quick summary. Nikikumbuka ya kwanza kabisa tukianza tulielewana wale ambao walikuwa hapa kwamba it's healthy kusalimia kila mtu asubuhi ambayo unamjua physical So naomba tafadhali salimia mwenzako mlie kando na yeye mwambie happy sabbath Salimia mwenzako tafadhali. Thank you. So that was God's creation from the meeting that it's 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 good to be healthy from the beginning of the day. Kama unaamka saa 10 asubuhi, kama unaamka saa moja asubuhi, ule mwenzako ambaye yuko kwa nyumba, whether be your wife, your husband, your children, your house help msalimie tafadhali that was one of the way to be healthy kwa sababu tuliona ukisalimia mtu asubuhi kuna ile furaha iko kwa roho yako because i saw each and everyone smile at your neighbor you are greeting na again ile kutamka tu wakire bia habari asubuhi that is healthy it's very important usisahau then my friends also touched on the holistic view of life vile sisi tunafaa kuishi na wenzetu how we are supposed to live with our neighbors our colleagues at our working places at our normal lives that it's better we form groups is a group zinakuwa na afya groups the likes of chamas and all that as long as they bind you in a social life. Katika siku ya jumanne, tuliongelea juu ya vyakula ambavyo mungu alitupa from the Holy Bible. Then we had to learn about the five diets. The five diets that God gave us in the Bible. The diet number one, was in Genesis 3.18. Genesis 3.18. Thou shall eat the herb 
of the field so hapa ndipo Mungu alitupa vyakula akasema in the garden of eden he gave us all kinds of fruits grains nuts and everything that sisi tunafaa kula haikuwa yali ya Mungu wanyama kula wanyama wengine until Mungu sisi tulipo that is the second diet wakati after sin wakati alita mwenzetu alikuwa wapi akajificha then now in Genesis 3:19 Mungu akasema in the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you return unto the ground for out of these thou taken for dust thou art and unto dust shall thou return so after sin now god gave us more work to do baada ya kukosa ndipo tukaanza kulima mahitaji yetu then diet number three was after the flood after the flood and now in the book of genesis 3 in the book of genesis chapter 9 verse 3 god said every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you even as the green herb have given you all things niposa mungu hapa akakubali sasa tule wanyama the fresh and then akaendelea katika Genesis 7:2 for every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens and the male and his female of the beast that are not clean by two so hapa biblia imetupa maagizo kamili wanyama ambao tunafaa kula na wanyama ambao hatufai kula hapo tuliendelea kusoma katika kitabu cha Leviticus that is Walawi 11:2 Speak unto the children of Israel saying that these are the beasts which you shall eat among all and the beasts that are on earth So kuna vya, kuna wanyama ambao Mungu ametuelekeza tunafaa kula ambapo tuliangalia wanyama wote and then ambacho wengi walinishangaza wako wa wanajua is Leviticus 7:23 Do not eat the fat of the cattle sheep or goats That is still diet number 3 Mungu alipo tuelekeza that kuna wanyama ambao tunakula lakini tusile mafuta yao kama ngombe kondoo mbuzi so these are the type of meats that we take every day that you should not eat fat sababu ya nini usile mafuta number one, fat is the leading causes of cancer stroke diabetes obesity heart diseases na hizi zote tunazita non communicable disease kwa sababu gani yale mafuta yakiwa kwa mwili yako it acts like a storage of all these viruses so again to kindle in the new testament then again tunaambiwa that acts 15 that is chapter acts chapter 15 verse 28 29 for it seemed good for the holy spirit and to us to lay upon you no longer great burden than these necessary things that you abstain from meats offered from idols from blood and from things strangled from fornication for which if you keep yourself you shall do well fare you well acts 15 28-29 niposa tena tukaelekezwa to seal our wanyama to seal the dam ya hawa wanyama kwa nini damu as all those who work on the medical line knows that damu carries a lot of viruses and toxins niposa ukiwa mgonjo ukichukuliwa hospitali kitu ya kwanza unatolewa ni damu damu inapopimwa ndipo tunapoona ugonjwa wako uko wapi 
Nipoze tukambia kwa hawa wanyama Tusile damu yao Tusile damu yao And that is the main reason Ukiona ukienda all butcheries Hata tukichinja kuku kwetu kwa nyumba ya kwanza Ni kumuaga damu yote itoke kwa mwili And once the blood is out of the body It's not supposed to be eaten So Nipoza tena tukelekezwa in 1967 where those minced meat zile nyama zinawekwa kwa mikebe zinawekwa most of the supermarkets here it was advised not to be taken kwa sababu gani in 1967 a scientist discovered that all those meats contained a lot of dirty kwamba zile nyama zote zilikuwa ni nyama za umbwa all funny animals mouses rats and all that kwa sababu zilikuwa zinakuwa minced zinawekwa kwa mikebe ndani hakuna vile tungejua and a person who discovers that two years later he was killed because of the market so kuna wanyama ambao atufai kula again on the same diet number 3 even Leviticus 11 Chapter 11 verse 29 paka kastaja pale pia panya atufai kula Hizi vitu tunazielewa uh, two years back kwa TV tulisikia pale nakuru kulikuwa nini nini ya paka sausages ha mutura zilikuwa ni za paka zinatengenezwa Kindly note that as Christians there's a lot of muturas now around kwa town we are not so sure but inaomba tujiadhari then diet number 5 was the manna which God gave us which was a provision from heaven then diet number 5 which we all hope for ilikuwa eden restored that is in the Isaiah 65:25 the wolf and the lamb shall feed together and the lion shall eat straw like the balak the wolf also shall dwell in the lamb and the leopard shall lie down and the kid of the calf and the lion and the little child shall lead them lion will eat straw so that is the hope we have then we learn that it's advisable that you take a glass of water every day in the morning before you take anything the fadali and then total of 6 to 8 glasses of water So for that, we request that to keep healthy, maintain the Bible diet that God gave us, and we wish you all the best. Tuombe. Baba, kwa mapenzi yako, tuwa jakuwa kwa mungu baba. Asante kwa hafi ambazo umetupa, familia zetu na wenzetu mungu baba. Wale wote wako hapa leo mungu baba, tumewakabithi mikononi mwako, tukiwambea hafi njema. Gonjo ambao yako milini mwa Mungu Baba tunaomba uondoe Mungu Baba. Baba walinde walinde familia zao, marafiki zao na dunia yote Mungu Baba. Tunaombea wenzetu ambao watakapoendelea Mungu Baba na leno lako wabariki na uongoze. Tupe siku njema na sabato njema kupitia kwa jina Yesu Kristo mkombozi wetu. Amen. hayo mnaomba muende mshughulikie magari yenu KCK 581S and KCJ 640D tafadhali mkimbie pale kwa parking mshughulikie magari yenu asante happy sabbath happy sabbath happy day Tunashukuru Mungu sabato ya leo tunapoendelea kuimba Stafford Stafford choir come for a song nyuma yao ewa es mkoe karibu hapo so tunaanza na Stafford tukiimba 129 129 tisa ndio wimbo yeah. tunaimba kumtegemea mokozi tukiongozwa na hawa stars
Mungu sote wangu 29 kumtegemea mwokozi Stafford mje upesi
kusadika kukwabudu na kusema asante ametulinda mwaka mzima tangu mwaka mpya mwaka jana ametuwezesha kukutana katika mwaka mpya mwaka huu Bia petuleta mamoja mamoja tunashiriki kwa kujifunza neno lake Mungu Shiriki kwa kujifunza neno lake Mungu Amen. Vijana wanapojiendelea kujiandaa CP unaweza leta tambo wako hapa Zipora vaccination is ongoing pale nyuma kwa tent you have bought boosters na wale wamepata ama wajapewa zinaendelea pale nyuma tafadhali thank you Oh 
kubeba nikufuate bwana wangu nimeacha ya dunia situmoe ni imali maneni ya dunia mimi ni wako daima maisha yangu yote
Haleluya. Asanteni sana vijana. Kila kwaya utapata nafasi karibu mbele mbele ya kuimba. Asanteni kwa wimbo huo tukaribishe akina mama kwa wimbo wao Yerusalemi. Oh 
kwa wimbo huo tumpate zipora kia mtu kwa wimbo mmoja Adventist men wakijipanga sehemu ya kulia Adventist men tafadhali mjipange sehemu ya kulia zipora kia mtu akimaliza hivi taingia we recognize the presence of Josh Muma and John Nyakundi nafasi kipatikana mtaweza kumwimbia Mungu shukrani karibu zipora kia mtu
tunamwambia je zipora zipi asante kwa wimbo tukawapate adventist men kwa wimbo mmoja wakifuatiwa nyuma na ambassadors tafadhali ambassadors teremuka muendelee kujipanga upande wa kulia baada ya adventist men ni ambassadors kcc karibuni sana adventist men sogelea karibu na microphone tuweze kuwapata shukrani
Hallelujah. Asanteni sana Adventist men for your natural voices bila backup. Tuwapate our ambassadors kwa wimbo wao wafuatiwe na KCC Church Choir. Ambassadors wanapoimba Church Choir mjipange upande wa kulia. KCC Church Choir. Karibuni ambassadors. Karibuni sana kwa wimbo wenu. Ambassadors mnaomba msonge kwenye jua msonge mbele kidogo. Ambassadors Shukurani sana Hata kwa uniform yenu nzuri sana nyeusi Tukaribishe church choir KCC kwa wimbo wao Nimearifiwa wanaimba wimbo unaosema Pigeni, pigeni Panda na makelele Karibuni sana KCC church choir Josh muma uteremuke Hapa kwa machine
Amen. Hallelujah. Asanteni the Red Choir, Kisi Central Church Choir kwa wimbo huo wa kutuarifu anakuja. Tum, tunapokaribia kumaliza tumpate ndugu Joa Shumuma kwa wimbo wake moja. Ni na kuitaji ni mpofu matkini Unishi ke mkononi kwa kona patangu Ita 
Watoto muendalea kujipanga, watoto wote Watoto muendalea kujamuka kwa wimbo Wale wakuko juu Na Pante joa kwa uo wimbo Kamfana Watoto wale wakuko juu Mteramuka kwa wimbo Joa shumuma napo malizia Amen. Asante sana ndugu Joa Shumuma. Yaani ni kama leo ndio makambi yanaanza. Sijui tuendelee na makambi. Karibuni sana watoto kwa wimbo wenu mmoja. Tunapongojea kipindi cha maombi. Tutakapoongozwa na Pastor Magoti. Kama hujaleta prayer request yako sanduku la maombi liko hapa mbele. Utulete sasa hivi kuzuia ule wakati mwingine. Karibu sana. Anteni watoto kwa huo wimbo Tunashukuru mungu So Christus tuje mbele Tuimbe sasa congregational Tukikibisha kipindi cha maombi Watoto tembeni pole pole 149 Kiyo wimbo tunaimba tunapo 174 samahani Sijui atakapo kuja Tunakesha tukimungojea
Bwana asifiwe. Asifiwe tena. Tunawakaribisha nyote katika ibada yetu ya asubuhi siku takatifu ya Sabato. Sasa tunawakaribisha kwa kipindi cha kwanza katika asubuhi ya leo kabla ya huduma ngozi wa personal ministries katika kusha kwamba kwa sababu tunaishi katika jiji tunawasi kwamba mchunge mzigo yenu vizuri usiache bagi atatuletea wageni wote sana karibu mgeni wokili mwabokili buya avana va wokili na bakwanili aba nene na bake mbuya mole bose nyasae no muya nyasae aba sesenye bwana asifiwe um <laughs> nichukue nafasi kumkaribisha mke wangu Veronica Vero karibu wasalimia watu wa Mungu Awa watu ni watu wa kipekee sana Kwa wiki moja ambayo nimekaa hapa mimi na daktari Gejiko Benadi na muhubiri mwenzangu Msumali Hawa watu wametubariki sana Jana usiku ulimuona daktari 
gejiko akiwa anafurahi kwa sababu hawa watu wametutunza sana ni watu wema hata vero ukiona last week hii koti yangu ilikuwa inafunga ila leo nimejaribu kufunga imekataa kabisa hawa ni watu wa Kisi Central karibu uwasalimie Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya church. Haleluya. Ah, uh, ninamshukuru Mungu sana kwa wema wake na fadhili zake kwa kuweza kunisaidia kufika hapa Kisi Centro. Uh, nilikuwa so excited kuwaona maana pasta alikuwa ananiambia mambo mengi mema ambayo mmemtendea. Mungu awabariki sana. Lakini ninawashukuru sana kwa kumtunza. Naona tumbo limesonga kweli kweli. <laughs> Mbarikiwe sana sana na karibuni katika ibada ya leo. Karibuni katika ibada ya leo. <laughs> Jamani Bwana asifiwe. Roho mtakatifu kiongo si amini utushi wa mbinguni Asante kwa kutupatia sabato ya leo Ni sabato ya kipekee sana hapa Kisi Central Sabato ya kuhitimisha makambi ya kihistoria Sabato iliyojaa baraka na rehema tumekusanyika tena leo kusikia ukisema pamoja nasi katika kipindi hiki cha maombi naomba ukanitumie kwa njia ya kipekee niweze kutamka neno lako watoto wako wapate kulisikia nitumie sasa Naomba mimi nipungue na wewe Yesu uongezeke. Naomba ukanifiche kabisa nyuma ya msalaba wako. Picha yako ikapate kuonekana. Sauti yako ikapate kusikika. Siku ya leo tutakapoomba wagonjwa uwaponye tena wengine wapone wakati nikipreach wakati ninatoa somo nguvu yako baba nguvu ya ajabu kabisa nguvu ya ajabu kutoka mbinguni ishuke sasa ianze kuwagusa wagonjwa ianze kuwaponya wagonjwa ianze kuwaponya wagonjwa wagonjwa wa kila namna waponywe kwa sababu jina lako linaenda kutangazwa asante Yesu kwa sababu utanitumia ndivyo ninavyokuomba kupitia kwa jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana na ndiye mkombozi wetu amen somo letu la leo lina kichwa kinachosema the power of forgiveness nguvu ya msamaha nguvu 
ya msamaa <coughs> power of forgiveness msirete maombi tena ngoje power of forgiveness unapoishi kwenye dunia hii kila mtu duniani na kila mtu duniani kila mtu duniani ana weakness kila mtu duniani ana tabia fulani mbaya ako tu na tabia fulani mbaya tunaishi kwenye dunia ambayo Yesu mwenyewe anasema kwenye kitabu cha Matthew chapter 18 leo atakaye soma ni vero leo anaye soma ni vero kwa hiyo wengine leo mnyamaze <laughs> vero in the house <laughs> Matthew chapter 18 Vazi 7 Matayo sura ya 18 na ule mstari wa saba. Biblia inasemaje? Biblia inasema Inasemaje vero? Ole ni wa ulimwengu. Ole wa ulimwengu. Kwa sababu ya mambo ya kukosesha. Kwa sababu ya mambo ya kukosesha. Maana hayana budi kuja. Maana hayana budi kuja. Mambo ya kukosesha. Mambo ya kukosesha. Lakini ole wake mtu yule. Lakini ole wake mtu yule. Aletae jambo la kukosesha. Aletae jambo la kukosesha. Hebu sikia. Unapoishi katika dunia hii lazima uishi na watu wanao kukosea offenses lazima ukutane na mambo yatakayokuchafua lazima tu kuna mtu atakuchafua akili yako mme wako anaweza kuchafua akili yako Mke wako anaweza kuchafua akili yako. Elida anaweza kuchafua akili yako. Pasta anaweza kuchafua akili yako. Ndugu yako anaweza kuharibu akili yako. Yaani unapoishi kwenye dunia hii lazima tu kuna mtu atavuruga akili yako. Hata kuna mwingine amekuja asubuhi hii, kuna mtu amevuruga akili yake. Yaani yuko hapa wakati anajiandaa kuja kwa kanisa kuna mtu tu amemchafua hata yuko hapa hana furaha kuna mwingine jana tu aliharibu akili yake kabisa kuna simu unaweza ukaipokea ikakuharibia siku yako yote tunaishi kwenye dunia ya watu wanaokosea hii dunia ni dunia ya watu wanaokosea. Hata mi magoti hapa Mungu amenipea uwezo wa kupreach. Lakini ukweli ni kwamba si wafurahishi watu wote. Mungu amenipea kipawa cha maombi. Nikiomba na Yesu anatenda. Yaani katika dunia hii Hakuna mtu ambaye ni perfect. Ndio maana kitabu cha Zaburi. Zaburi sura ya 14. Zaburi sura ya 14. Mstari wa pili mpaka wa tatu. Zaburi sura ya 14. Mstari wa pili mpaka wa tatu. Biblia inasemaje? Biblia inasema inasema mtu mwenye akili mwenye akili amtafutaye Mungu amtafutaye Mungu wote wamepotoka wote wamepotoka wameoza wote pamoja wameoza wote pamoja hakuna atendaye mema hakuna atendaye mema la la kuja kanisani leo akiwachungulia hakuna mwema hata mmoja hata yaendelee jifanya anapreach hapa magoti hana wema 
Yaani Mungu aki akiwaangalia wanadamu hakuna mwema hata mmoja wote sisi tumeoza ndio maana tumekuja kanisani we have decided to come ili Yesu atusafishi kanisa ni kama garage kanisa ni kama hospital unajua ukienda hospital <laughs> Kila mtu wako na ugonjwa wake. Kuna siku pasta alinipeleka hospitali inaitwa Hema Hospital. Tukiwa pale tukao tunaona watu wanaingia, wanatoka, wanaingia. Kila mtu pale, mwingine anaumwa tumbo, mwingine anaumwa kichwa, mwingine anaumwa miguu, mwingine kanisa ni kama hospital. Kuna mtu yuko hapa amekuja ni mzinzi. Tena ana PhD ya uzinzi. Kuna mwingine amekuja hapa ni muongo. <laughs> Asipopata mtu wa kumwambia uongo anajiambia mwenyewe uongo. <laughs> Kuna mwingine amekuja hapa ni mwizi. Ndio maana hata daktari Peter Moses ametangaza chunga bagi yako. Kuna mwingine hapa amekuja ni mwizi. Kuna mwingine amekuja hapa ni mlevi. Hata last night amekunywa pombe. Bibi yake anajua kabisa mme wangu ni mlevi lakini amekuja kanisani. Hebu sikia. Mwingine amekuja hapa kazi yake ni fitina tu. Kuna mwingine kazi yake ni kutengeneza magomvi kwenye ndoa za watu lakini amekuja kanisani. Hebu sikia. Ndio maana usimnyoshe mtu kidole. Unajua kuna watu kazi yao ni kusema yani wewe 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 vile na kuona wewe hata mbinguni hautaenda yani mtu anaongea with confidence as if nauli ya mbinguni anayo yeye Usikia Wote sisi tumeoza Wote sisi ni wachafu <laughs> Hebu sikia. Sasa hivi hapa kuna watu wamekaa kesho. Ndio wa, wanasiasa wakubwa huko kwenye barabara. Kuna watu hapa wamekaa kesho, ndio watakuwa kule kwa stage wanatukana watu. Hapa tumekaa kesho ndio tutakuwa mahali fulani tunaongea mambo yasiyofaa. Wote hapa tumeitwa kwa jina la Yesu. Ili tusafishwe tufaye kwenda mbinguni. Wote hapa all of us here we are the candidates wa mbinguni. Tunahitaji kwenda mbinguni na ndipo sasa Yesu anazungumza na wewe maneno haya. Matthew Marko chapter 11. Marko chapter 11. Marko sura ya 11 mstari wa 25 na mstari wa 26. Maliko sura ya 11 mstari wa 25 na mstari wa 26 Biblia inasemaje Biblia inasema Inasemaje mamake Jason Nanyi kila msimamapo na kusali Nanyi kila msimamapo na kusali Sameheni Sameheni Mkiwa na neno juu ya mtu Mkiwa na neno juu ya mtu ili na baba yenu aliye mbinguni ili na baba yenu aliye mbinguni awasamehe na ninyi makosa yenu awasamehe na nyie makosa yenu lakini kama ninyi hamsamehe lakini kama ninyi amsamehe wala baba yenu aliye mbinguni wala baba yenu aliye mbinguni hata wasamehe ninyi hata wasamehe ninyi makosa yenu makosa yenu hebu sikia mnapoenda kwenye kusali jambo la kwanza kabla hujamwambia Yesu mambo yako jambo la kwanza same 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 naomba nikuulize swali ni watu wangapi au jawasame kwenye maisha yako ni watu wangapi Haujawasamee kwenye roho yako. Kuna mtu amekuja kanisani 
anataka baraka lakini hataki kusamehe mtu kuna watu daktari kijiko kuna watu wako kanisani hawasalimiani they are in the same church lakini hawashikani mikono kuna watu wako kanisani akimuona mwenzake anasikia kichefu chefu cha kutapika na anataka Yesu ambariki labda Yesu anayekula managu lakini kama ni huyu Yesu aliyekufa msalabani anasema hivi unapoenda kwenye kusali the first thing you must do is to forgive kusame kusame hebu sikia wanaosame ni wenye ujasiri wanaosame ni washindi washindi ni watu wa kusamehe unapomaliza makambi haya learn to forgive jifunze kusamehe msamehe kijana wako msamehe mme wako msamehe mke wako msamehe mtu ambaye alivuruga ndoa yako samehe hebu sikia Daudi alifanya mistake Daudi alifanya mistake kijana wake alikuwa anaitwa Absalom Absalom alitengeneza njia akamuua ndugu yake alikuwa anaitwa Amnon ndugu yake alipokufa Daudi akakasirika sana Daudi akakasirika kijana wa Daudi alipoona baba yake amekasirika Absalom akakimbia mbali hakutaka kukaa na baba yake hebu sikia usiposamee utawaza kulipa kisasi usiposamee utawaza kulipa kisasi kijana wa Daudi akakimbia baadaye kijana akaona siwezi kuishi maisha haya akarudi Jerusalem kwa baba yake kwenda kuomba msamaa Biblia inasema kwa miaka miwili Daudi hakupata nafasi ya kumsamehe kijana wake Kuna mzazi yuko hapa hajamsamehe kijana wake Yuko kanisani amekaa lakini hajamsamehe mtu na anataka Mungu ambariki Mungu anasema Samee ili na wewe upate kusamehewa. Kumbe njia ya wewe kusamehewa sio kwenda Mungu ni samee. Ah ah, njia ya wewe kusamehewa ni kuwasamee wengine. Ukiwasamee wengine na wewe unasamehewa. Hebu sikia kitabu cha Matthew chapter 6. Matayo sura ya sita mstari wa tisa na mstari wa mbili. mstari wa tisa na mstari wa mbili. kisha vero utasoma mstari wa 14 Biblia inasemaje Biblia inasema inasemaje basi ninyi salini hivi bali ninyi salini hivi Baba yetu uliye mbinguni Baba yetu uliye mbinguni Jina lako litukuzwe Jina lako litukuzwe Ufalme wako uje Ufalme wako uje Utusamehe deni zetu Utusamehe makosa yetu Kama sisi nasi Kama sisi nasi Tuwasamehevyo wadeni wetu Tunavyo wasamee walio tukosea. Kwa maana mkiwasamee watu makosa yao. Kwa maana mkiwasamee watu makosa yao. Na baba yenu wa mbinguni. Na baba yenu wa mbinguni. Atawasamehe ninyi. Atawasamee na ninyi pia. Hebu sikia. Ukisoma hayo maneno ya Yesu kwenye lugha za kibiblia ina perception tofauti kabisa na lugha zetu hizi za kawaida Yesu anasema 
mutusamehe makosa yetu kama kama hebu sema neno kama hebu sema kama kama nikiunganishi kinaunganisha sentensi mbili sentensi ya kwanza ni hii utusamee makosa yetu sentensi ya pili tunavyowasamea walio tukosea alafu kuna neno kama kama nikiunganishi kinaunganisha sentensi mbili wale mlio soma logic mimi nimesoma logic wale ulio soma logic <laughs> hebu tuachane na logic hebu sikia utusamee makosa yetu tunavyowasamee walio tukosea neno kama lina maana gani lina maana ya kwamba kipimo unachotumia kuwasamee watu wengine ndio the same kipimo Mungu anakutumia kukusamea na wewe hebu nirudie kipimo unachotumia kuwasamee watu wengine ndio kipimo hicho hicho Mungu anatumia kukusamea na wewe magoti unaongea nini ukiwasamee watu wote utasamewa makosa yote ukiwasamee watu kidogo utasamewa makosa kidogo kuna mtu yuko hapa anaomba kila siku lakini hapati majibu moja ya reason ya kutopata majibu hujawa tayari kusamee hujawa tayari kusamee hujawa tayari kusamee kuna mtu yuko hapa ananisikiliza ndani ya roho yake ana uchungu mkubwa usio wa kawaida anasema pasta siwezi <laughs> siwezi kuongea na ndugu yangu siwezi kuongea kabisa na ndugu yangu amechukua shamba amechukua shamba mm. what is life maisha ni nini je maisha ni pesa maisha ni mali maisha ni magari maisha ni elimu what is life hivi maisha ni nini wa Kenya <laughs> hebu sikia matajiri wengi jana tulikuwa kwenye matanga nilihubiri pale kwenye matanga nikasema kule kwetu Tanzania tulikuwa na rais anaitwa John Pombe Magufuli yule rais daktari was very powerful yule rais yani akisema leo anatembelea KC county governor anaweza akafa kabla Magufuli hajafika kwa sababu akifika Magufuli yeye na eh hey, we mwananchi mpe microphone unashaka gani mimi shamba yangu ilichukuliwa haya wewe DC hiyo shamba unaijua e, kwa kweli mheshimiwa askari kamata huyo peleka ndani atakuja kusema akiwa korokoroni hebu sikia magufuli was very, very powerful siku moja magufuli alikufa unajua alipokufa daktari Jiko magufuli alivyokufa walienda kule nyumbani kwao panaitwa chato wakatengeneza kaburi kwenye space ambayo hata sio 10 feet space ndogo magufuli akawekwa humo ndani akaiacha Tanzania what is life life is god and the humanity maisha ni mungu na ubinadamu maisha ni ile unavyowafanyia watu maisha ni namna ambavyo unakaa na watu katika dunia hii maisha sio pesa maisha sio nyumba maisha sio magari si tutakuzika kwenye ardhi hii hiyo shamba inayokutesa utaiacha maisha ni Mungu wa mbinguni Maisha ni kuishi na watu vizuri. Lani to forgive. Jifunze kusamee. 
Jifunze kusamee magoti. Hawa watu hawaelewi ndio. Na mimi nataka nikwambie usikae na uchungu moyoni. Usiwaze mabaya kwa ajili ya mtu mwingine. Hebu nirudie mtu mmoja aandike. Usiwaze mabaya kwa ajili ya mtu mwingine. Usiwaze mabaya. Yesu mwenyewe anasema wanao kuudhi waombe. Waombe. Nimemuomba Mungu anisaidie sana. Moyo wangu uwe very positive. Mimi ni moja ya preacher ambao tuna vita sana. Tuna vita sana. Hata kuna siku nilitaka kuacha kazi ya Mungu. Mke wangu alinikataza. Unapitia vita. Unasemwa vibaya. Mimi kuna watu wa wanasema mimi ni devil worship. Wanasema unaona magoti yule akiombea wagonjwa. Ile ni nguvu ya giza. <laughs> Lakini mke wangu alinisaidia sana. Mwisho wa siku nikasema baba uwasamee watu hawa. Mimi napitia vita sana. Yaani usinione hivi <laughs> na mwili wangu mdogo. Nina vita sana. Shetani mwenyewe ana vita na mimi kweli. Ndio maana nimewekewa sumu seven times. Nimewekewa sumu kuna siku pale nyumbani kwetu mchawi alianguka kwenye nyumba yetu mchawi tunatoka tunaona mtu amekaa pale nje anakwambia nini anasema nilikuwa napita nikafika kwenye nyumba yenu moto ukanichoma kuna siku moja mke wangu alilia sana na Sijui nani alimwambia olewe na mimi. <laughs> Unajua kuna wakati mke wangu anapata shida kwa sababu yangu. Yaani anapata shida kwa sababu yangu. Kuna watu kabisa wanamtafutia vita Veronica kwa sababu ya mme wake. Wanajua wakimkamata mke wake wamemkamata mme, lakini tunamshukuru Yesu sana. Yesu anatupigania kwa njia za kipekee sana. Hebu sikia usipojua kusamehe utawaza mabaya kwa mtu. Biblia inasemaje kitabu cha Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 17 verse 13. Proverbs chapter 17 verse 13. Hivi sikuizi huko KC. Hivi last time tulionana wapi? 17 verse 13 Veronica Biblia inasemaje? Biblia inasema Inasemaje bibi wa magoti? Yeye arudishaye mabaya badala ya mema. Yeye arudishaye mabaya badala ya mema. Mabaya hayataondoka nyumbani mwake. Mabaya hayataondoka nyumbani mwake. Hebu sikia Bible inavyosema yeye arudishaye mabaya badala ya mema mabaya hayatoki kwenye nyumba yake yani sikia ukimwazia daktari Edwin mabaya <laughs> mabaya hayatatoka kwako kuna mtu hapa anawaza mtu fulani afe unashanga huyo mtu afi wewe ndio unakufa ah ni wape mfano wale mliosoma zamani wale mliosoma zamani wale wa zamani wale unajua zamani hata hapa Kenya wanafunzi walikuwa wanachapwa fimbo sana mwalimu anachapa fimbo acha siku hizi mambo yamekuwa ni tofauti zamani ulikuwa unachapwa fimbo na hata prefect anakuchapa fimbo zamani sasa wanafunzi wote wote walikuwa wanamchukia mwalimu aliyekuwa mkali sana 
na kila shule kwa kuna mwalimu mkali. Yaani akiwa on duty wanafunzi wote wanatetemeka. Yule mwalimu mkali mlikuwa mnamuombea hata agonjeke. Lakini ndio agonjeki kila siku yuko shuleni. Yule mwalimu mkali mnasema jamani si hata apewe transfer, hapewi. Ila wale walimu wa pole ndio unasikia leo amegonjeka, leo amepewa transfer ila yule mkali unajua kwa nini alikuwa agonjeki? Mlikuwa mnamwazia mabaya. <laughs> Mtu mmoja akaandika kwenye gari yake. Hizi maroli hizi magari makubwa hizi. Akaandika hivi, ni dharau. Unanenepa wakati na kudai. <laughs> yani na kudai na bado unanenepa. <laughs> Ebu sikia. Jifunze kusamee. Kuna watu hapa wanalala kitanda kimoja yeye na mke wake lakini hawasalimiani. Hawaongei pamoja. Hawaongei pamoja. Kuna klipu moja niliona kwenye WhatsApp. Kuna klipu moja niliona kwenye WhatsApp. Mwanamke na mwanaume wamegombana usiku baadaye wakaenda kulala walipoenda kulala kumbe mwanaume ana tatizo la moyo kama aliyokuwa nalo Veronica zamani unajua Veronica zamani kwa ana shida lakini Yesu akamponya hebu sikia sasa walipoenda kitandani kulala mwanamke akalala anaangalia upande wa huku mwanaume anaangalia upande wa huku usiku mwanaume akapata shida ya moyo akawa anataka mke wake akamchukulie dawa ambayo huwa anakunywa ili tatizo hilo linaondoka wakati mwanaume anamgusa mwanamke mwanamke anasogea pembeni akimgusa mwanamke anasogea ari ikawa mbaya Mwanaume akagusa kwenye meza ya kwenye kitanda, akachukua na karatasi, akasema mke wangu ninakufa, umeshindwa kunipa dawa. Akalala. Mwanamke asubuhi anaamka hata aongee na mme wake. Ndio baadaye anasema wewe amka uende job. Ile anagusa amka. Amka. Kufanya hivi mtu amekufa. Kuangalia kando ya kitanda kuna karatasi imewekewa ujumbe. Nimekufa kwa sababu umeshindwa kunipa dawa zangu. Mwanamke alilia. Usiende kitandani na mwenzi wako ukiwa na uchungu kwenye roho. Msamehane. Jifunze kumsamee mwenzako. Hata kama mme wako ni mbaya kiasi gani na wewe pia ni mbaya. Hata wewe unakosea. Wewe sio perfect. Mahali fulani kanisa la Roma ni Katoliki wana wimbo wanasema hivi na ni verse iko kwenye kitabu cha Zaburi. Anasema hivi kama Bwana angetazama maovu yetu nani angesimama? Nani angesimama? Kama Mungu akikuangalia wewe kwa mambo uliyoyafanya kweli hata last night umezini hata usiku wa jana umezini umekunywa pombe umeongea uongo msamee mwenzako msamee mwenzako msamee maisha yaendelee jamani hizi mali ni za duniani hapa Tutaziacha zote hapa duniani. Same mtu. Same. Ujumbe wangu kwa watu wa kisi. Same. Same. Siku moja. <laughs> Niliyalikuwa kwenye nyumba moja. Kwa nafanya kurusaidi. Ile nyumba ni ya mama mmoja hivi kumbe alikuwa mchawi lakini ni church member sasa kwenye ile crusade tulikuwa tunafanya maombi sana 
na watu walipona mapepo yalitoka kumbe usiku <coughs> wachawi wakakaa vikao unajua wachawi waga wanakaa vikao hata wachawi mlioko hapa mnajua wao mnakaa vikao <laughs> wachawi usiku wakakaa kikao ajenda ni jafeti magoti wakaiweka mezani wakasema huyu mtu aliyekuja hapa anaharibu mambo yetu na ukweli ni kwamba kwenye ile kurusaidi wachawi watatu walimpokea Yesu wakaleta mambo yao ya uchawi tukayachoma moto watatu kwa hiyo kiongozi wao akakasilika akasema huyu magoti tufanyeje tumalize wakasema tumejaribu kumrushia majini si kama majini mnayajua tumejaribu kumrushia majini lakini kila tukijaribu kurusha ayamfiki unajua siku moja niliwahubiria pale nikasema hivi mnavyoniona nimesimama hapa kuna jeshi la malaika He, nimezungukwa kila mahali jeshi la malaika tena wenye silaha za moto na wewe hapo ulipo una malaika wamekuzunguka ni vile wewe hujawaona lakini wapo wapo wengi kabisa wengi kweli kweli sio kidogo wengi ujanielewa mama teresa yuko wapi yule mama yule teresia charles hivi yuko wapi yule mama where is she yule mama atakuwa na ushuhuda juzi hapa ofisini kuna mtu alikuja kuniroga tukiwa na yule mama alipokuja kumbe ametumwa e, alidhani mimi ngoja nikwambie sio mimi yani mimi ni kristo tulikuwa na yule mama hapo ofisini akaja e, e, magoti nataka uniombe nikamtolea jicho hivi Nivyo mtolea jicho akaza tuko na yule mama tukakemea mapepo yakatoka akasema sikuja kuombewa nilikuja nikupea stroke ilikuwa ni juzi tu siku ya wednesday hapa ofisini kuja nikwambie kitu nataka nimalize hivi nimemwona daktari amesimama Nataka nimalize hivi. Nikiwa nafanya kurusaidi wale wachawi wakatengeneza kikao chao ya kwamba tumuue magoti. Tumuue magoti. Nani wa kumuua? Church member wetu alikuwa kwenye kile kikao. Akasema mimi nitaua. Utamuaje? Nitaweka sumu kwenye chakula. Alafu nitamwalika aje nyumbani kula chakula. Sawa 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 sawa. Ajenda imepita point point. Okay okay okay. Sawa sawa. Yule mama akaenda kwa pasta. Pasta eh. Na muomba pasta magoti na timu yake waje wale chakula nyumbani kwangu siku fulani. Sababu ni mama wa kanisani wakasema no problem. Tutakuja. Basi tukaenda. Wakati tumefika pale. Unajua kwa kawaida chakula kinawekwa kwa meza. Alafu watu mnafanya self service. Lakini cha ajabu tumefika pale yule mama akasema magoti wewe chakula chako hakiko hapo. Kwa sababu wewe ni mgeni mkuu wa crusade. Cha kwako ni special na mimi kwa akili yangu nikajiwekea uspecial. Nikasema thank you mama. Kikaletwa chakula. Akasema hiki ndio cha kwako. Hakuna kitu kizuri kama kutembea na Mungu kwenye maisha yako. Hakuna kitu kizuri duniani kama kutembea na Mungu kwenye maisha yako. Na mimi nawaomba watu wa Mungu mlioko hapa tembea na Mungu kwenye maisha yako. Ukiwa unatoka nyumbani, mwambie Yesu niko pamoja na wewe safarini. Ukienda sokoni, sema Yesu naingia na wewe sokoni. Ukienda popote, listen to me. Usiende na madeni, nenda na Yesu. Usiende na shida, nenda na Yesu. Jifunze kutembea na Yesu. Oh, sikiliza. Nikawaambia hivi 
tuombe chakula. Yule mama akasema, magoti tumeshaomba tule tu. Na mimi nikamwambia hivi, Biblia inasema ombeni bila kukoma. Funikeni macho tuombe. Tukaanza kuomba. Wakati tunaomba, kumbe pale kwenye nyumba kuna paka. Paka akaenda direct kwenye bakuri yangu ya kuku. Tunasema Amina paka amekufa kwenye bakuri. Alikuwa ameweka sumu mbaya sana. Hebu sikia. Tukiwa na pastors na elders, kambi hiki ni nini? Yule mama akasema jamani munisamee. Jamani munisamee. Ndiyo akaanza kutuelezea mambo yaliyotokea. Ndipo sasa nikamwambia basi mama tulete chakula ambacho hakina sumu tupate kula. Nikasikia pasta anasema magoti tuondoke. <laughs> Jamani bwana asifiwe sana. Tuwasamee watu makosa yao. Masaa haya nataka tuingie kwenye maombi. Nataka tuingie kwenye maombi. Kama kuna mtu yuko hapa, ako na uchungu na mtu fulani kwenye roho yake. Naomba upate kuondoa huo uchungu maishani mwako. Msamee yule mtu. Hata kama hataki msamaa wako, wewe ondoa hilo jambo kwenye roho yako. Hata kama hataki kusamehewa, wewe roho ni mwako toa hilo jambo. Toa Hivyo najua kuna watu wako hapa hawa hawajasamea hata mtu aliyekufa. Yaani mtu amekufa lakini anasema huyu baba yangu simsamei. Samee. Samee uokolewe. Samee ubarikiwe. Yesu mwenyewe alisamee. Yesu alisamee hivi. Yesu huyu akiwa msarabani. Akiwa msarabani amevuliwa mpaka nguo Elida mheshimiwa Yesu akavuliwa nguo pale msarabani Yesu akachomwa misumali Yesu akavalishwa tachi ya miba kichwani kwake Yesu akiwa katika maumivu makali akiwa katika aibu kubwa Yesu akiwa analia analia Yesu analia pale msarabani kabla Yesu ajafa akasema baba baba wasame watu wako wasame watu wako hawajui walitendalo Yesu akasame kama Yesu Mwana wa Mungu anasamee. Wewe ni nani hata usisamee. Samee masaa haya. Mungu akubariki sana. Nataka tuombe. Kama kuna mtu yuko hapa ni mgonjwa. Ni mgonjwa. Ameletwa leo akiwa mgonjwa anatamani uponyaji wa Yesu kama kuna mtu yuko hapa moyoni mwake ana uchungu kuna jambo baya alifanyiwa anasikia uchungu moyoni na anaona ni ngumu kusamee nataka niwaombe watu wa aina mbili leo kama kuna mtu ni mgonjwa very serious ana ugonjwa mzito na kama kuna mwingine yuko hapa anasikia uchungu mzito kusamee tenena tusame tenena tusame ni waombe elders mlioko hapa njoni hapa mbele viongozi wangu mlioko hapa shall you come this side elders wote njoni hapa mbele ili sanduku la maombi mlisogeze hapa mbele hii ni saa heri ya maombi hii ni saa heri ya maombi kama una maombi yako unaweza ukayaleta kwenye sanduku hili 
Hii ni saheli ya maombi. Koristas mnaweza mkatusaidia kuimba wimbo huo. Kama kuna mgonjwa ameletwa hawezi kutembea. Kama mnaweza kumsogeza hapa mbele mumsogeze hapa mbele. Kama kuna mgonjwa ameletwa hawezi kutembea. Mnaweza kumsogeza hapa mbele. Kama kuna kichaa yeyote ameletwa. Mtu ambaye fahamu zake zimeondoka. Mnaweza kumsogeza hapa mbele tuombe. Kama kuna mtu yuko huko ana kansa. Ana kansa. Sogea hapa mbele tukuombe. Kama kuna mtu ana ndugu yake ana kansa. Sogea kwa niaba ya ndugu yako. Sogea kwa niaba ya ndugu yako. kama kuna mtu ana sukari kisukari sogea hapa mbele tukuombe una kisukari kimekutesa kwa muda mrefu kama kuna mwanamke huko hajawahi kushika mimba sogea hapa mbele tukuombe kuna nguvu ya Mungu masaa haya ya sabato Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Asante Jehova. Asante Rishadai. Asante Mungu unayetenda. Asante mfalume wa wafalume. Asante Mungu wa miungu. Asante baba yangu Asante mfalume Asante mfalume Asante mfalume Asante mfalume Asante mfalume Asante mfalume Asante mumbaji Asante Yesu Asante kuna wale mnao tutazama mkiwa nyumbani. Kama we ni mgonjwa. Hii ni saa ya maombi sasa. Yawezekana we ni mgonjwa huko nyumbani. Daktari Yusufu Mtare ameniambia kuna watu wako hospital wanatazama masaa haya. Hii ni saa yako ya uponyaji. Hii ni saa yako ya uponyaji rafiki. Jenga imani katika Yesu. Jenga imani katika Yesu. Jenga imani katika nguvu ya msalaba. Nataka tumuombe Yesu. Viongozi wetu hawa, elders walioko hapa, kuna hiyo msichana aliyepiga magoti hapo, elder mmoja ataweka mkono juu yake na elder wengine tutaweka mikono kwenye sanduku hilo la maombi. Tunapohitaji kwenda kuomba, kuna nguvu ya Mungu ya jabu inaenda kutokea masaa haya. Naomba ni watangazie wenye kisukali. Baada ya maombi haya, nenda ukapimwe, umepona. Na kama uko na kipimo hapa kanisani ukirudi tu kwenye kiti chako ukirudi tu kwenye kiti chako kaa pale pima umepona kwa sababu Yesu anaweza 
nguvu zake sio za kawaida nguvu zake sio za kawaida wewe mwenye kansa sasa hivi unakauka hiyo kansa hiyo kansa haitakuua kwa jina la Yesu unapona kansa unapona hiyo kansa na utatoa ushuhuda kabla tujaondoka hapa utaleta ushuhuda kwa sababu Yesu anaweza mambo yote funika macho yako tuombe weka mkono sehemu inayokuuma kama ni mwili wote weka kwenye roho yako weka tu kwa imani amini ya kwamba huo mkono ni wa Yesu sio mkono wako weka tu kwa imani na we kama una mgonjwa hapo nyumbani na kama una mgonjwa unaweza ukarekodi ombi hili na ukamtumia kama una mgonjwa unaweza ukarekodi ombi hili na utamtumia rekodi tu kwa sababu kuna nguvu ya Mungu ya ajabu inaenda kuachiliwa masaa haya hebu sikia usinipite moko ozi Unisi kie una pozuru wengi ine usini pite bwa weka mkono sehemu inayokuuma Weka tu mkono kwa imani. Muone Yesu akikugusa masaa haya. Muone Yesu akikugusa. Muone Yesu akikuweka huru masaa haya. Muone Yesu akibariki maisha yako. We mkono kama una mtoto wako weka mkono kwa niaba yake hata kama yuko hapa una ndugu yako weka mkono kwa niaba yake maombi hayana limitation maombi hayana limitation weka tu weka tu mkono jana waje washike huyu msichana hapa wale vijana vijana njoni hapa msaidie wa kanisa lina vijana ni waombe diko ni mkuje kujeni mumsaidie huyu kwa Bwana usishangae nguvu za giza mimi na moyo wako kwa Bwana mwambie Bwana leo ni za, ni saa yangu ya kupona imba Bwana 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 endelea kuomba ukiwa unaimba omba 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 mwambie
ya Yesu niponye sasa niponye magonjwa ponya watoto wangu ponya biashara zangu Bwana 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 Endelea kuweka mkono usitoe Salaba ni mnyo kempofu ya pita yona acha ni pe muabebe hawa na wabuka kuna nguvu ya mungu ya jabu leo na kutu leo lazima na wepi ya upone na we lazima upone leo Lazima na we upone na ina ni ya kwako iponi sasa bwana na kutuma ini tu ewe yes jesus yes jesus na kwako ni pole sasa bwana na endelea kumuomba Yesu nguvu ya Mungu iliyoko hapa ikuguse na wewe nguvu ya Mungu iliyoko hapa itoe magonjwa ndani yako kansa iondoke kansa iondoke kansa HIV toke ndani yako HIV toke ndani yako HIV toke ndani yako katika jina la Yesu oh, oh. leo kila mtu atapona kwa jina la Yesu kila mtu Yesu anamponya kwa jina lake lenye nguvu oh, sasa bwana Yote kwako Jesus Endelea kumuomba Mungu Hii ni saa ya maombi Hii ni saa ya maombi Hii ni saa ya maombi Mwambie Yesu atoe huo uvimbe kwenye mwili wako Komilele na kutu maini tu Jesus Yes Jesus. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. Naina ya kwako niponye sasa bwana tuamini na tuombe. Jehovah Mungu ambaye unaweza. Jehovah Mungu ambaye unasikia. Wewe ni bwana wa mabwana. Wewe ni mfalume wa wafalume. Wewe ni jemedali wa vita. Wewe ni Mungu ambaye unasikia maombi ya watoto wako. Watoto wako wametembea wamekuja mbele. Wana matatizo mengi maishani mwao. Wana magonjwa ya kila namna. Wengine wanaomba uwape roho ya kusamehe. Wengine wanahitaji uwaponye. Nami naliita jina lako Yesu. Naita jina la Yesu. Naita jina la Yesu. Linaingia kwenye mwili wako. Jina la Yesu. Jina la Yesu. Jina la Yesu. Linagusa kansa. Linagusa kansa jina la Yesu linagusa kansa kansa inatoka 
kansa inakauka kansa inatoka kansa inakauka jina la Yesu linagusa kansa linagusa kansa linagusa sukali linagusa kisukali linagusa kisukali kisukali kinatoka kinatoka moto unapita fire moto 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 leo shetani hana nafasi shetani hana nafasi magonjwa ya kila namna katika jina la Yesu Kristo 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 kila aina ya magonjwa magonjwa yote kwa ndugu yako aliyeko mbali ambaye una rekodi ombi hili kwa ajili yake katika jina la Yesu anasimama kitandani anasimama kitandani anasimama ndugu yako anasimama amepona anasimama amepona katika jina la Yesu 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 Kristo magonjwa yote yote magonjwa yote magonjwa ya kila namna magonjwa ya kisukali magonjwa ya HIV magonjwa ya COVID-19 yote kwa jina la Yesu Sante Yesu kuna wamama wajapata watoto wameweka mikono kwenye matumbo yao kama kuna pepo lolote limezuia tumbo lako lisibebe watoto kama kuna pepo yoyote kuna jini lolote ninaruhusu moto wa Yesu upite moto unapita sasa shetani toweka shetani toka shetani toka shetani toka shetani toka 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 fire on you moto unapita ilo tumbo lifunguke huyu mama akapate watoto sasa huyu mama akapate watoto sasa huyu mama akapate watoto watu wamemcheka watu wamemdharau Yesu futa machozi yake leo Jehova Mungu kuna watu hawana kazi naomba ukawape kazi kuna watu hawana biashara naomba ukawape biashara kuna watu wanateseka katika ulimwengu huu wa Kenya naomba ukawatengenezea amani baba tunaingia kwenye uchaguzi wa serikali ya jamhuri ya Kenya shetani ninakukemea kwa jina la Yesu uchaguzi umalizike salama leta amani katika nchi ya Kenya yeyote akishindwa akubali kushindwa yeyote akishinda asimdhi yake aliyeshindwa baba leta amani uchaguzi uishe kwa amani Kenya ibaki kuwa na amani baba magonvi tumeyakataa kwa jina la Yesu kwa sababu baba Kenya ikichafuka hata sisi wa Tanzania hatutaruhusiwa kuja kuhubiri tengeneza amani wanasiasa wape lugha nzuri wakitafuta kura waongee ajenda wapatie lugha za amani baba wanasiasa wote ninaomba kupitia jina la Yesu watengenezee amani kwenye midomo yao waongee umoja wa Kenya waongee maisha ya wa Kenya waongee amani ya Kenya waongee maendeleo ya Kenya Luka za ugomvi tunazifuta kwa jina la Yesu. Elidazi wameweka mikono yao kwenye sanduku. Ninaamini mikono hiyo sio ya Elidazi bali ni mikono yako. Nguvu ya msaraba ifike sasa. Yote yaliyoandikwa humo ndani yakajibiwe sawasawa na mapenzi yako. Daktari Bernard Jiko na timu yake watapanda hapa. Naomba ukamtakase mpe ujumbe daktari mpe ujumbe daktari mpe ujumbe mwingine mpe nguvu ya ajabu daktari mpe anointing power ambayo hajawahi kuipata leo akisimama kwenye hii cloud ya hapa akiona umati huu mkubwa asikuone asiwaone watu bali ya kuone wewe 
na watu wasimuone daktari gijiko wa kuone wewe. Baba leo samoni ya leo ikatubariki sote. Asante kwa sababu umesikia. Ndivyo tunavyokuomba kupitia kwa jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana na ndiye mkombozi wetu. Amen. Turudi kwenye viti vyetu. Naendea msalaba ni mnyo gempofu Our gracious, loving Father in heaven. Baba yetu mwenye neema na mwenye upendo pale mbinguni. We thank you because of this time. Tunakushukuru kwa masaa haya. We thank you for your children. Tunakushukuru kwa ajili ya watoto wako. Who have come from far and wide. Ambao wamekuja kutoka kila pembe. Only to listen to your voice. Ili wapate kuisikia sauti yako. We thank you Lord for giving us hearts in 
desiring to hear from you. Tunashukuru manako umetupa mioyo ambayo inatamani kusikiza kutoka kwako wewe. Baba yetu ambaye ni Mungu wetu. Please come and be in the meeting. Tafadhali njoo uwe miongoni mwetu. Please come and feed us yourself. Tafadhali njoo upate kutulisha wewe mwenyewe. Please come that we may see only you. Tafadhali njoo ili tupate kukuona wewe peke yako. That we may choose to follow you. Ili tuamue kukufuata wewe. That we may choose to obey you. Ili tuamue kukutii wewe. That we may choose to love you. Ili tuamue kukupenda wewe. Forgive our sins and trespasses. Tusa- Tusamee makosa yetu na kila makosa. For we pray in Jesus name. Ni katika jina la Yesu tumeomba tukiamini. Uh, happy Sabbath. Happy day. What is good? And all the time. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. And may God bless the congregation. We just come to listen for the message from above. Wakati ningependa kukaribisha nyinyi nyote mmekuja kuabudu nasi siku ya leo. Wakati na kamilisha makambi yetu. Ah, uh, msikie nyote muko katika miguu ya Bwana. Tena tuna wageni wengi wamekuja kuabudu nasi, wengine wametoka makanisa mengine. Nataka nione wale wametoka makanisa mengine musimame ili tuwafanyie special welcome. Our sisters have come from other churches, from other districts. Ebe na musimame. Or other sisters who have come, please, if you can stand up so that uh, KCC and the Stafford Church members will welcome you in a special way. Ebna Musmami, please. I can see Wageni Apa, Wangine Balichu. There are so many guests who have come. Uh, Councillor KCC and the Stafford, what do you say to these sisters? Thank you. You are most welcome. Feel welcome. All our church choirs, we, church choir, please, can you stand? Children choir. Women Ministry Choir, Adventist Men Choir, all, all of the choirs in KCC. Please, can you stand? Can you wave the congregation, all of you? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Most welcome. ICD team, can you put up your hands? Welcome, welcome, Amanda Yusuf. Thank you. Mungu Wabariki. And also, we have got some uh, guests who have come to be with us today. Can I see KCD sisters churches? The ones who are here. Kama uko Elimu, Kama uko Nyankongo, Kama uko Kisi High School. You are all members. Okay, you are most welcome. You are most welcome. Okay, also. Uh, South Kenya Conference Officers, if you are here, please. South Kenya Conference Officers, if you are here. Do we have any member from South Kenya Conference? Okay. Thank you. Okay, Sasa. We have an elder, Gutokan Kong SD Church. If you are there, please, you can, uh, you can rise up and wave. Elder... Fr- Elda, can you wave? Thank you, thank you, Elda, for being with us. We have also Champlain Central Kenya Conference. We have the Champlain. Okay, thank you, thank you. Asanti, Namungwa Wabariki. So we have also Sir Henry Onundu. Henry Onundu, wherever you are, please. Sir Henry Onundu. Is he around? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So up front here, I'd like to introduce those ones who are here before I bring our pastor. Uh, those ones who are uh, up front here. We have got uh, uh, Naomi Nora Bonuke, who's going to give us children's story. Nora 
can you wave the congregation? Thank you. Then we have got uh, our first church elder who is going to say a word of prayer. Elder William Nyangara, can you come up front, please, and uh, say hi to the congregation? Thank you. Thank you. Then we have got uh, Madam Dolphin Mura Ondicho. Ondigi, Ondigi, please come and. Yeah, uh, Likwa Mugenu Kwa Tika Makambi Yetu. Marafiki zangu wote wa Kisi Centro na wageni ambao umetoka umetoka mbali mbali hamjambo Happy Sabbath Tufanye hivi jameni tufanye hivi jameni habari ya asubuhi Namshukuru Mungu kwanza kwa kutuwezesha kumaliza haya makambi nilikuwa nasimamia kipindi cha Women Ministry na Ambassadors wakati wa workshop Pia nilikuwa na vipindi viwili pale ngambo prisons wale ya kina mama na wazee ambao wako pale wanaume na vijana wadogo wamewasalimia sana na wanahitaji maombi yenu pia na msamaha ikiwa kuna wale ambao jipata pale ndani na wamewapatia salamu sasa pa, pastor Jamlik please ikiwa uko around kuwa na sabato njema ambayo imebarikiwa asante and uh, Robert Gonzale, where are you? Come and say hi to the church. He's, he has been in charge of publishing. I'm Chamba Wapensi Wabwana. Mungu Wapariki. Okay. Namiko Machine ni Daniel Atemo. At this uh, time, I would like to call our church pastor, senior pastor George Morara, to also introduce those visitors who are here for the camp meeting, our guests. Pastor, this is your time to bring our guests. Kwanza ningependa nereta Saram Senu from prison. Tumekuwa na upatiso pale asupu ya leo. Na tumepatisa wanaume temani na ine munasemaje. Tumepatisa pia kina mama nane. 84 plus 8, that's a total of eh? 96 ama 94 zijui. <laughs> Walimu wesapu, iyo ndiyo takwimu ambayo tumepatisa pale kwa camp, ambayo tumekuwa na ayo uh, this week, ikiongoswa na magoti matoti, uh, dani kani motondi, ambayo ako pale kupiri na dolivin, Na wengine ambao tumekuwa tukisaidia na pale. Hapa katika makambi yetu, tumepalikiwa na wageni wengi. Kapro ya kuleta wageni ambao tumekuwa na wao within the week. Kuna wale ambao wametutemberea siku ya leo. Several politicians wametutemberea. Muna semaje. Naomba tusimame hapa. Nimeona kina donya toto. Na wengine naomba tusimame hapa ili tufungie mkono kanisa. Nimewasiri sai, yule nimeona hapa mbele ni donya, labda kama tupitia hapa mbele. Labda kama kuna mwingine pia unaweza simama ili utupungie mkono. Kuna wale wengine ambao labda sijafahamu. Uh, Onalebo migosi ugamba and uh, upande ya deputy governor. Kuna Sekele machogu. Eh, sekele machogu pia kwa hapa. Eh? Oh, sawa. Sawa, sawa. Naomba kwa araka muno. Papire kipasa sauti. Uh, utupungie mkono tu. Sana kwa majina mina yetu wa Julius Migo Zogamba. Amimi ndio aspiring deputy governor. Wa mweshmi wa machogu ambayo anatarajiwa kuwa governor wa Kisi County eh, mwaka huu 2022. Tumetembea huku leo kushirikiana na nyinyi kwa sababu tunajua mko na kambi na mnaendelea kuimaliza leo tukasema tuje tushirikiana na nyinyi na tuwaletee salamu zake. Wangapi mnapenda salamu za bwana Machogu? 
Bwana Machogu ni elder ya hii kanisa ya SDA katika kule Karen Gata, Nairobi. Na mentuma niwaambie hivi kwa mkono mkunjubu anaomba kura zenu mwezi wa nane. Sisi ni chama ile ya UDA. Asante. Alafu amenielezea pia kwa sababu mko na mahitaji mingi ameniambia nilete uh, pesa kidogo ya kuwasaidia katika costs zile mko nazo sijui kama mtakuzikubali shilingi 1200 Asante ametupatia sadaka ya 1200 mnasemaje Asante Asante sana muendelee kutuombea na Mungu awabariki Thank you Thank you Asante uh, next salamu Eh uh, wapi tudasara wetu Happy Sabbath. Amereta sadaka. Thank Pasteta, you. Pastor, you can receive it. Eh, uh, uh, sadaka Santi. Oh. Thank you. Na sasadia mugene transport ya gurudi Tanzania. Tunashukuru. Okay. Thank you. Donya. Okay. Thank you Pastor George Morara. My name is Donya. I'm a aspiring woman rep Kisi County. Na tuko na Elda Monda. Mmepokea salamu. Amena. Na Governor wetu Paul Simbarati mmepokea. Amen. And Pastor George nilimpata elimu while my daughter was schooling. Aliombea mtoto wangu akapita mtiani mpaka akaitwa State House Girls. Sasa leo vile ni Pastor I didn't even uh, tell you. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where we met with him when Sheba your deaconess told me that uh, I have to come and say hi. I said, let me go. I tell the church that prayers work. Believe in God. It is well with the Lord. Sing that every day. When you have calamities, when you have trouble, like now our children are going back to school. Pray to God to give us enough school fees, enough food, and above all, journey masses, to those students who travel far from Kisi County. May God bless you. Pastor, pray for our governor, Simbarati, so that he will also succeed to power. Mbuyamono, be blessed. Okobande uh, aspirant, I will not announce uh, my sadaka. Pastor will do after we leave. Rakini, if you got 20 crates of soda. So you understand what I mean? Amen. Thank you very much. Asanteni, Saramu Pia. Oh, India great. Sawa na mimi nawasalimu kwa jina la Yesu amjambo. Amen. Pia mimi ni nagombea kiti cha ubunge wa Nyariba Richache kwa majina ni Nelson Nyamari na mimi pia ni mshiriki wa hii kanisa. Nimekuwa nikiatendi maombi ya asubuhi na Pastor Magoti ametu inspire sana kwa hii maombi. Kwa hivyo pia naomba muweze kuniombea na mimi ikifika huu wakati pia muweze kunikumbuka. Asante. Na mimi sadaka yangu nitamwachia hapa kidogo pasta. Nitampea tu hapa. Sijari sawa sana sana. Asante. Ni mnasemaje kwa wenye wetu? Tunashukuru. Hiyo ni kijana ya Nyamari Philip hata wanafanana. Sura inatangaza. Tunashukuru. Uh, pia kuna wale ambao ni wageni pia wale ambao tunapatisa siku ya leo baada ya Simon watasimama hapa ili wachukue faus. Kuna mgeni ambaye alikuwa anatoka Paraton Dr. Kamundis akifika mwalifu atakuja atusalimie Daktari Kijiko akifika pia atatusalimu uh, pia tuko na wale ambao tumekuwa tukishirikiana kwa hii wiki ICT team wamekuwa wakipeleka maupiri nje ya nchi uh, na kupitia kwa DC TV uh, Nuru Radio na Singinepo pia wageni wetu ambao tumekuwa tukishirikiana nawe Dolvin ametusalimu Robert Onsale ametusalimu Mutondi ako pado pale prisons uh, Magoti Matoti uh, na pipi yake sije kama pipi alitusalimu I've just come in. Ametu Salim. Sawa sawa. Anandela na udu mapare nyuma. Uh, uh, Pastor Daktari Penadege Chiko. 
yeye ataleta maupiri kabla ya kusimama nimeona tunasema mke wake ako hapa naomba ukuje utusalimu naomi hiyo ni mke wa Gechiko Penard naomba utusalimu as he traveled yesterday from Nairobi naomba utusalimu Sons and daughters of God, happy Sabbath. Happy day. We thank God this day that he has given us this chance to come and worship him. Receive greetings from our children, Timothy and Cleopas. Greetings from some members of the Philadelphia Church where we usually go. And our district pastor, Pastor Hudson Logova. Otherwise, I hope you have been blessed the whole of this week. And I know we'll still get blessed. God bless you. Asante ni. Tamalis Monda to Salemu, Atatoleta Upandewa sign language. Speaking, Pastor Morara, also married to Mary Gesale, G. Maria Meketi, at Salemu Kwaniapa, Kuja tu to Salemu. Tusalimu kwa niyapa ya familia ya pasta. Happy Sabbath Church. Happy day. Tubarikiwe sana. Thank you. Uh, the program will run unannounced. Kuna wale ambao tumekosa muda enokem. Uh, takuja tusalimu at an appointed time. The program will run unannounced. Asanten. Happy Sabbath once more. We get our scripture from the book of Revelation. Revelation is chapter 14, two verses, verse 6 and 7. Revelation chapter 14, verse 6 and 7. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel, to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation, and kindred, and tongue, and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God, and give him glory, for the hour of his judgment is come, and worship him that made heaven and earth, and the sea, and the fountains of waters. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give him glory, for the hour of his judgment is come, and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. May the readings be blessed in Jesus' name. We are going to stand up with song number five three as the choristers will lead us. To see Choir should also be ready to welcome our pastor when the time comes. Napenda kuhubiri hamsin na tatu twenda. Napenda kuhubiri.
gracious Lord, we come before your feet this morning. We pray that, Lord, at this hour, you take control and your Holy Spirit fill this ground so that your children who have come to receive your word can receive your word, Lord. How we pray that you forgive us our sins. How we pray, Lord, that you bless us in every way, that we may also bless your work, Lord. We come before you, bringing our guest speaker this morning, Dr. Pastor Gechiko, that in a very special way, in this multitude, can you use him mightily, that he may be, you may be seen, Lord, and that many may come to your fold, so that, Lord, we come near home. And when we are at home, Lord, we may rest forever. How we pray for our brothers and sisters who are sick, those who are suffering in hospital, others are suffering at home. Lord, they may be suffering because, Lord, it's not their will, but, Lord, it's because Satan has settled and is working tirelessly that your children may suffer in this world. We remember our brother, Monda Chasford, who has been suffering for a very long time. How we bring him this hour before your feet, that, Lord, you may make him recover. Lord, also, we pray for those who have lost their loved one. How we bring them before your feet that you may comfort them. That one morning, Lord, we shall see one another when the hour comes. Lord, we pray for our guests. We thank you for the guests for this come meeting. We thank you for all that have given their hand to make success this come meeting. How we pray you bless them in a very special way, Lord. As now we come to your hour of ministering, Lord, stand with us, for we have prayed in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. This is another opportune time for us to worship our loving Father through giving tithes and offering. And before uh, I call upon the deaconess and the deaconesses to minister to us, kindly I like to call our attention to a verse in the Bible. And we are going to read from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 5. When we read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, we find God is God is faithful children who are faithful in giving tithes and offering. Like Abraham, Jacob, the widow whom Jesus recommended. And one of the churches that we find in the book of Corinthians is the church of Macedonia. Paul uh, in his writing, Paul wants us to take note that this church was going through great trials and affliction, but they abounded in giving. Why? In verse 5, Paul gives us the answer, and it reads, And not only as we had hoped, but they first gave themselves to the Lord, and then to us by the will of God. As we are contemplating this time to worship God in, through our tithes and offering, God is first asking us to give our hearts to him. Giving is a response to our love to the Lord. It is a fruit of our surrender to the Lord. And therefore God is saying, look here, I gave my life to thee. What are you going to give to me? This is a moment that we are going to express our love to the Lord through giving tithes and offering. Uh, my brothers and sisters, as I call upon uh, our deacons and deaconesses to mean that to us, uh, we know that we have various means giving tithes and offering. We have the church financial management system, CFMS, uh, 
and I know the congregation know how to use that one. However, this particular juncture, I am calling upon your attention that you can use this particular pay bill. That is 69, 79, 78. I repeat, you can use pay bill 69, 79, and 78. And at the same time, I know uh, you can use parcels. You can be guided by our deacons and deaconesses. And deacons and deaconesses. So I am calling upon our deacons and deaconesses to stand and before they start ministering, let us say a word of prayer. Our gracious Father who art in heaven, this is a privilege you have given us that we can worship you through giving of tithes and offering. As we are going to give, it is our prayer that first and foremost we surrender our hearts to you. Let giving be that response to your love. And bless each one of us in a very special way. Let your face shine upon us. This is our prayer through the name of Jesus Christ who are prayed and believed. Amen. Amen. Now I call upon our pastor to come. The deacons and the deaconesses, you can continue serving. Uh. Evangelist Motondi Musumali has just arrived in Aumba Ukuje to Pungie Mkono. Alikuwa na upiri pale prisons. Motondi Musumali. Praise God, church. Buana sifiwe. Amen. Naleta tu salam zangu kwa kusema... I was uh, operating at prisons. Wafungwa watoto wa mungu wamewasalimia hamjambo. Uh, pastor wameshukuru sana. Wameshukuru maana ulifanya kazi nzuri kutengeneza makambi prison na hapa. Na ito Motondi Mosumari from Nyachenge District, South Kenya Conference. Tubarikiwe katika jina la yesu. Pia, uh, Dr. Sadrak Kamundi, ambaye ni Vice Chancellor, student, TP the Vice Chancellor, Student Affairs, University of Eastern Africa, Paraton. He has also just arrived, number Atu Salim. Na aseme kitu kwa daika moja. Wasafiri wa mbinguni bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mbuyamuri mwensi. I'm so excited to be in your camp meeting this Sabbath. And I'm so, so, so happy to give moral support to Dr. Gechiko, who is one of our faculty members at the University of Eastern Africa, Baraton. Mine will be very short and precise to the glory of God. I have uh, been uh, in several camp meetings today. This is my fifth camp meeting since morning. And uh, more excited because of Dr. Gechiko here, who is not only a faculty member at the university, but a serious and a great homosanion. God bless you so much. Wale Nikumbuka, my name is Kamundi Shadrak. I have been here before, especially the day when we came with the students to bless the worship. Uh, I want to go straight to the point by reminding all of you that there is, a, there is something I normally tell the Meru community in their language. And I want to share with you that Kimeru statement. It is said, Totige Koira Anabeto Chukuru Chakonyo Maroa. Abana, that is a serious Gimeru statement. Totige Koira Anabeto Chukuru Chakonyo Maroa. Totige Kwa Saitani Anabeto. I believe those of you who left Meru lastly, you understand that statement. Because, Abaga Kabaria Walituambia, 
aba meru na bagusi tuli aba na aba mo ene ki meru we say tuli ana bangi no mwe anto ba mo chi omwe anto ba nda mwe mwanye gure now the, the message I have for you, which I believe Dr. Gechiko has been sharing with you, is Totige Kuira Anabeto Chukuru Shia Shaitani Chukuru Shia Kunyomaroa Tupeleke Watoto Wetu Kwa Mungu Ellen G. White Yanasema in one of her writings, every Adventist child deserves Adventist education. Because it is in these schools where they are prepared not only for the success of this world, but they are prepared for eternity, which is more important than anything else under the sun. My message, therefore, is to give you a few reasons as to why your child should join the University of Eastern Africa Baraton. And I know that those who already receive God disciples and above they have already been placed by coops. But there is still a chance. Because at the end of this month, the coops will open the portal for inter university transfer. What it means by inter university transfer is has your child, has you as a student been placed for the course, your dream course? Have you been placed for the right university, the university? your dream university. If that is not the case, beginning August, these students will be given four weeks of final revision on whether, on where they want the, the, the government to place them. And during that moment, I am here to direct and guide and plead because the life of this child is in your hands. Uh, let your child or you as a student revise and request to be placed at the university of your church. That is the University of Eastern Africa, Baraton. That as, as I come to study at Baraton and finish at Andrews University, they can join us through a program known as two two-year study program. Two years at Baraton, two years at Andrews University, and the visa is prepared by Andrews University, not the child. So that at the completion of the second year, they receive a letter to take to come and replace what their parents at university. And I want to give you my contact with me through a message. Because every those we who want to join us through certificate, their qualification is D and D plus. They can join through certificate. One year they graduate, they go for a diploma two years, and then they do their degrees, and they are at liberty also of the 2 2 program. May God bless you. May the Spirit of the Lord guide you as you continue with your camp meeting. I've been requested by Dr. Gechiko to do prayers for the students who are in attendance because from next week they are going back to school. I want now all the students in our Mideast to stand so that we can do a special prayer for them. Wanafunzi wote wambao wanarudi shule. By the way, Pastor did not tell you that I'm an ordained minister of the SDA church, although at the same time I'm a teacher. So the prayer that I'm giving, I'm giving as a pastor now. Hey, haba anabali ya bange kabisa. Nyasae no muya. Tukendere na bange, tubu ya ta bange, tubu ya ta bange. Hallelujah. Can we all now humble ourselves for prayer? Heavenly Father, King of Glory, thank you, thank you Lord for this this gift of children. We should not take these children for granted, but we should know you've given them to grow in our families so that they can be partakers of your kingdom. As they, now, as now, as they worship now and as they prepare to go to, back to their schools, may they remain like Daniels in those schools. 
May they remain and study as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. May they be the preachers to their teachers. May they be role models to their fellow students. And Lord, as they will be traveling, may you be their protector on the, on, in their journeys. May you provide each one of them with an angel to protect them on the way. May you fill them with your Holy Spirit so that, Lord, they can study the issues of this world knowing they should be preparing themselves also for eternity. Bless them and their parents. Grant them the desires of your hearts and their hearts as well. May you be with this come meeting as they proceed. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Church choir. Yeah. We have seen you at Damonda, Kalipuni Sana.
from Icha and Tamar. Make the lines for him a bit. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Sabbath. Heavenly King and Master in heaven, thank you for this loving day. For the we do pray and believe. Amen. So the top generally from the book of Revelation. You start. Revelation records John's vision of the future. In charge. Will Jesus be one Sunday morning? John was given messages to just by seven different cities. He had a glimpse into heaven, God sitting on the throne, circled with the rainbow light, he held the sealed soul of the future. Only one person in the multitude was fit to undo the seal and said they were a like figure, but Jesus is like a lamb who, who takes away the, all the sins of the world. What is the lamb who was slain? Jesus old, ugly, and spoiled, and the beginning of a new world, amazing, great, and good. No one who might spoil that lovely world was allowed in, but those who said no in their lifetime to Jesus and refused his forgiveness were sent far away from God. I saw a new heaven and earth, John wrote. The seven look and she has greeted and given family. I am so happy to be associated with the Kisi Central Church. I was here like four weeks ago. And I said that teacher was going to another camp meeting that I came Brother Sumari, my youth, 
pamoja na binti wetu pale she was my youth yeye alikuwa ni kijana wangu i am happy when i see her preach the gospel na mimi napenda napomwona akipata kuhubiri jili i am happy to be with my friend pastor george mimi napenda kuwa na rafiki yangu ambaye ni mchungaji george kisi sasa ndio kisi za good church e kanisa la kisi sasa ni kanisa bora elders We thank you so much. Wazee wa kanisa tungependa kuwashukuru zaidi. Very welcoming, committed and orderly. Ambao wanakutukaribisha vizuri na wamejitoa na pia wana mpango sawa sawa katika maombi. Being led by Pastor Magoti. Ambao tumeongozwa na mchungaji na hatujamaliza. Still you can continue coming for prayers to Pastor Magoti. Basi wetu Magoti. I don't want to take so long. Mimi sitachukua muda mrefu. I my DVC I'm happy to be visited by my DVC. Mimi nafurahia manake bwangu amepata kunitembelea to be visited by the second in command ambaye amemimi na absence shaondoka uh, he has left me with the, the program first ameniachia ratiba ambazo chuo kikuu cha baraton kiko nazo i didn't want to mention them within the week because he do that and they give me authority now to continue saying mimi sikutaka kuwanenea wakati wa juma to peter and other elders mimi nitampatia petero pamoja na wazee wengine so that they can put on whatsapp and it, you get the copy ili waweke kwenye mtandao ili muweze kupata nakala because there are only very few copies which are, which are very few but this is if it is put in whatsapp it can be circulated maana nakala ni chache basi zikoma thank you so much now there is no gospel there. now let us transport ourselves hebu sasa tuweze kujileta the feet of jesus katika miguu yake yesu kwamba hebu na tuende kuitikia kwamba nami nitakwenda when i came here four weeks ago nilipokuja hapa majuma manne yaliyopita one of my childhood rafiki yangu mmoja tulipokuwa wadogo one of the youth i was singing with kijana ambaye sisi tulimba pamoja na yeye i used to teach the choir mimi nilikuwa mwalimu wenye choir he used to sing every nice alto alikuwa anaimba sauti ya pili ambayo yanapendeza very good young man eh basi kijana ambaye ni mzuri zaidi a very young a very young lady not young man eh binti mdogo ambaye ni mzuri zaidi so we grew up as missing youth basi tukakuwa kama vijana ambao wana matarajio mema and of course na hakika when people grow up they disperse watu wanapokuwa wakubwa wanatengana i was two classes ahead of her mimi nilikuwa madarasa mawili mbele yake now when i was here na sasa nilipokuwa hapa na tulipokuwa tunaimba wimbo nambari 100 na 505 na when we was no. told the husband basi akanena na mume wake that is my brother huyu ni ndugu yangu he comes from home yeye yuatoka pale nyumbani then the husband with the her they listen to the song basi mume pamoja na mke wakapata kukusikiza wimbo and they continued listening through the sermon na wakaendelea kusikiza mahubiri and she continued again listening the sermon over and over again na hawa ni mwenye kusikiza mahubiri mara na mara because this central church is generous maana kisi kisentro karimu the song on to the sermons online maana kwenye mahubiri yako kwenye mtandao i need the prayers of those i love nahitaji maombi ya wale ambao mimi nawapenda when i was singing this song nilipokuwa naimba huu wimbo sister penina was listening to this song dada penina kawa yuasikiza a young lady i grew up with in my village binti ambayo mimi nilipata kukua pamoja naye pale kijijini who is now less resting in god ambaye sasa sasa hivi yapumzika katika bwana I need the prayers of those I love while traveling all life's ragged way Mimi 
I didn't know I was singing to the heart of Benina. I knew about this yesterday evening. When we visited the family. And this story was told me by Enoch. Elder Enoch. And Elder Enoch said. There is a song Penina left behind. I will wish that you sing with me that song. And I told him Enoch. Even if that will be the sermon for the day. Let it be. Let it be. Enoch, please. And you are Tim. My in law. Please come. Let us sing that song which Penina left behind. Even if it is the only sermon we can do. But I know what I know. God has a message for you today. As they continue coming. Ah, ah, I need. Ah, ah, I need. The, the, the singers continue being there because I know the song we are going to sing. You also know it and you will join us. But before we sing the song, allow Enoch to say a word before we sing. Thank you, Pastor. Wasafiri wa mbinguni ya mjambo. Baada ya miaka kadhaa na sapatu kadhaa ambazo hatujawahi shiriki na nyinyi Mungu ametuwezesha kufika hapa leo. Shukrani kubwa kwa sababu India wakati mke wangu alikuwa anaugua mkawa mmesimama na mtoto Abigail mmesimama nasi katika spiritual life mkawa mnasimama nasi kutupea nyimbo kutupea faraja katika roho zetu tukiwa tunapitia magumu na hata wakati ameaga mmesimama na sisi kwa kila njia nimekucha na Familia, the Mondas and the Asugas, wakini mkoni mwetu, ningependa wasimame wapungie mkono. Asante. Tukingine ningependa kusema ni kwa pastorate. Pastors, mumekua mkitu tembelea hata wakati tuko chini sana. Pastor George na wenzako Pastor Kichiko ambaye aliupili hapa tukiwa tuna watch session by session it was music sabbath we watched everything mpaka saa wakati penina alisikia mechoka jioni kabisa akarudi kwa kitanda akiwa ameweka music yenye ilikuwa inaimbwa hapa na akalala baada ya kuma kanisani na tulikuwa tunapanga kwamba tuje kanisani. 
Pastor, thank you so much. She enjoyed the day, and I didn't know she was to pass on in a very short time. Muli tuwambea, mwame tuwe ni courage, mwamefanya mambo mingi. Pastor, zini wengi ambao walikuja kwa nyumba, kutuwambea. Siwezi wataja majina. Lakini, ningependa kushukuru pia those who supported us. This council, Mini Nyote, the choirs, the friends, Supernina, my friends, friends to my people. Thank you for the message I received this morning. It gave me strength. I have to dress and come to church. The only difference, the lady I love most used to sit to my left. She's no longer there. She used to encourage me. It is a special Sabbath. Kenya Home Church, you are wonderful. The Lean On Group. You reach us even when we don't know that you are near us. Women ministry. My wife loved you, and I believe you will continue loving this family. The church choir. You have always great occasions, good and bad, in our families. The children ministry. You made it possible for Abigail to come and participate, and I was, I was great. She had done strong, and she's even much stronger than me. At a time, a time that she was to last for six months or one year. God gave us the grace through the messages you are giving us and the prayers above all. Ame, ame, endelea kuka ivo. Though she started feeling bad five years back, that's... Um, 2017, our main problem started when it came to October 2019, and on 27th of October, we were on our way to India. Thank you. She wished that we continue being strong in spirit, and we expect to meet up yonder when our Lord turns back. The song she loved, loved the most is number 181. We used to sing it even in India. Thank you so much, Enoch. Asanti sana. Abigail. Abigail. Be strong. Tafadhali mtakuwa wenye shujaa. Your mother is resting. Mama yenu anapumzika. One day we will see her. Siku moja tutapata kumona. Let us pray. Na tuombe. Our Father God. Baba yetu Mungu. Talk to us now. Nena pamoja nasi sasa hivi ke Yesu. 
How are we to walk with God? God is calling us to walk with him. Mungu when we walk with God, na Mungu, we will not be frustrated. We are not discouraged. We become encouraged. Sisi and we press on. Na sisi mbele. Because we have Apo sisi so as we go. Kwa hivo, sisi Mungu anatusi tupate kuendelea kutembea pamoja na yeye. Become strong. Wewe unakuwa mkakamavu. When you walk with God. Unapotembea na Mungu. You become enriched. Wewe unapata lishe. When you walk with God. Unapotembea na Mungu. You scare away enemies. Wewe unapoteza kabisa adui. When you walk with God. Wewe unapotembea na Mungu. Satan has no place in your life. Ibilisi hana nafasi tena katika maisha yako. Because you are a child of God. Maana wewe ni mwana wa Mungu. You are walking with him. Wewe unatembea pamoja na yeye. As you walk with God, you are never alone. You walk with angels around you. They lift you up when you fall. They encourage you when you are frustrated. Because that is their business. When we walk with God, we don't change from becoming human beings. We walk still human beings feeble and weak feeble and weak in the need of a savior in the need of a hand of God the book of Genesis chapter 5 verse 24 the Bible says Enoch walked with God he walked with God Enoch was taken by God because he walked with God. In the book of Hebrews, 11 verse 5, the Bible says, Enoch pleased God by walking with God. He pleased God. And God said that I will take him away. He will never test the grave. I will take him to show that there are those who may not see death. God will test. Moses walked with God. But when he died, he died a righteous man. There are many people who died. And the Bible says that they are seated at the right hand of God in heaven. Walking with God. How are we to walk with God? Leviticus 26 verse 12. The Bible says, I will walk among you. And I will be your God. Meaning it is not only us to walk with God. To walk among we walk with God. He is walking among us. Meaning that individually, individually, we walk with God. Cooperately, God is with us. God is with us. But you know, God is with me as an individual. But corporately, God is with us. That's why the name Emmanuel means God with us. The entire heaven has been incarnated. The entire heaven has been incarnated. God incarnate. Jesus Christ. Yesu Christo. Emmanuel. Emmanueli. God with us. Mungu pamoja nasi. God promises. Mungu and I will walk among you. Nami nitatembea miongoni mwenu. And I will be your God. Nami nitakuwa Mungu wenu. And you shall be my people. Nanyi mtapata kuwa watu wangu. I like that text. Mimi napendezwa na hilo fungu. It is a promise of God. Ni ahadi yake Mungu. He says and I will walk among you. Ya kwamba mimi 
nitakuwa pamoja nani I will be your God Nitakuwa Mungu wenu You will be my people Nani mtapata kuwa watu wangu There is a relationship there Pana mahusiano pale A great relationship Uhusiano ambao ni mkubwa God does not miss in your home Mungu hawezi kosa pale kwenye makao yako God never miss in your place of work Mungu hawezi kosa katika pale katika kazi yako God will never miss in your place of work Hawezi kosa pale kwenye kazi In your businesses Pale kwenye biashara In your home Pale nyumbani In school Pale shuleni God is with you Mungu yu pamoja na wewe Because he has promised Maana yeye tayari amepatia na hadi He will be among his people Atakuwa miongoni mwa watu wake They will be their God Yeye watakuwa ni watu wake And they will be his people Na yeye atapata kuwa Mungu wao The book of Amos E kitabu ni cha Amos Chapter 3 verse 3 The Bible says Biblia nena hivi do two work together Wawili watatembea pamoja Unless they have agreed to meet Wasipokuwa wamepatana Can two people work together Jamani watu wawili waunaweza kutembea pamoja Unless they agree Isipokuwa wamepatana No two people cannot work together La hasha watu wawili wawezi kutembea pamoja Unless Ila tu wamepatana You have to agree with God Lazima mpatane pamoja na Mungu Na unene ya kwamba Mungu I have loved you Mimi nimepata kukupenda wewe I have accepted you Nimepata kukuitikia wewe I have accepted kwa hivyo sasa hivi nimeitikia niweze kutembea pamoja na wewe ili wewe pamoja nembea pamoja wewe pamoja na Mungu muweze kutembea pamoja two of you watu wawili you and God wewe pamoja na Mungu you and Jesus wewe pamoja na Yesu walking together muweze kutembea pamoja because you have agreed maana nyinyi mmepatana why do, don't you agree mbona usiitikie why do we sometimes walk alone mbona mara nyingine tunatembea tukiwa ukiwa we walk alone tunatembea peke yetu do you know life is frustrating jamani unajua kweli ma- maisha yana fedheha do you know life can frustrate unajua you? maisha ya kweli yanaweza kukupa msongo you need god unamhitaji mungu the book of genesis 69 e, kitabu ni cha mwanzo 6 fungu la 9 was a righteous man basi no alipata kuwa mtu mwenye haki blameless blameless in his generation Al, no alipata kuwa mtu mwenye haki mkamilifu katika vizazi vyake no walked with god no alikwenda pamoja na mungu Noah walked with God. Nu alikwenda pamoja na Mungu. That's why when he's building a ark. Basi una alipokuwa anajenga safina. Many discouragements. Wengi walipata kumvunja moyo. He stood firm. Lakini aliweza kusimama wima. Because Noah walked with God. Maana huyu Nu alipata kutembea na Mungu. In the book of Mika chapter 6 verse 8. E kitabu ni cha Mika 6 sifungu ni la 8. Do justice. Ebu e, tenda mema. Love kindness. Ebu penda ukarimu. And humbly walk with your God. Na kwa unyenyekevu upate kutembea na Mungu wako. Humbly walk with your God. Kwa unyenyekevu upate kutembea na Mungu wako. Do justice. Tenda haki. Love kindness. Penda rehema. And humbly walk with God. Na kwa unyenyekevu utembee na Mungu wako. You know in this life. Unajua katika haya maisha. Sometimes Satan cheats us. Mara nyingi ibilisi yatudanganya. He wants us to remove our eyes from the real focus. Angependa tuweze kutoa macho yetu kwa mtazamo wa kweli. He doesn't want us to know that Jesus is. Hataki tujue ya kwamba Yesu ni nani. There is a song I love. Eh pana wimbo ambao mimi naupenda in the garden e pale kwenye shamba in the garden shambani it is 487 ni wimbo nambari 487 i come to the garden on
to the garden alone. Unajua unapokuja kwenye shamba ukiwa peke yako. I come to the garden alone. Mimi najua shambani nikiwa ukiwa. While the dew is still on the roses. Wakati ambapo bado pana unyevu kwenye ua. And there is a voice I hear calling me. Lakini pana sauti ambayo mimi nasikia yanaita. And that voice is the voice of Jesus. Na hiyo ni sauti yake Yesu. He says come. Yuo sema ya kwamba njoo. Come. Njoo. I need to be with you. Nahitaji kuwa pamoja na wewe. The second stanza says that Basi ubeti wa pili wasema hivi He speaks and the sound of his voice is so sweet the birds hush their singing and the melody that he gave to me within my heart yes right do you need Basi ni sauti gani ambayo tena waitaji than the voice of Jesus Ila tu sauti yake Yesu This voice which says come and walk with me Sauti ambayo inakuambia njoo tupate kutembea pamoja na wewe Umepata kuteseka kwa muda You have sought for things in this life Umetafuta vitu katika ulimwengu But these things are not satisfying Lakini haya mambo basi hayakutoshelezi Oh there is other song which says like a woman other world I was seeking for things that could not satisfy and then i heard my savior speaking draw from my well that shall never run dry are, are you getting the words mnapata maneno you know sometimes unajua wakati mwingine let the song say ebu wimbo na wimbe woman at the well I was seeking for things that could not satisfy and then I had my savior seeking draw from my well that shall never run dry fill my cup Lord I lift it up Lord come on You know friends Unajua rafiki you are here Wewe uhapa You have never been baptized Bado hujapokea ubatizo What are you waiting for Basi wasubiri nini Can't you give your life to Jesus today Wana usipate Yesu maisha yako siku ya leo You had people in prison Umesikia 
watu wako gerezani and they are getting baptized in na, prison na wanapokea ubatizo wakiwa pale gerezani and you are free na wewe uhuru you are free wewe uhuru you can't choose to be baptized hauwezi kuchagua ubatizo between someone in prison kati ya aliye gerezani and you who is at home na wewe ambaye huyu nyumbani who has more space to work for god ni nani ambaye ana nafasi kubwa ya kumtendea Mungu kazi can't you give your life to jesus mbona usipatie yesu maisha yako why are you continuing in sin mbona wewe uendelea katika dhambi when jesus says come wakati yesu yakuita kwa mwingine when others have said i will go mwingine wanapoitia kwamba mimi nitakwenda the everlasting gospel ili niende na injili ya umilele you are there wewe umesalia tu you don't want to go hautaki kuenda you have a cup wewe uko na kikombe you don't want to lift it up hautaki kukuinua kikombe and say god fill this cup na usemebona hebu jeza hiki kikombe you don't want it to be full hautaki kikombe kifurike jesus is passing yesu you are peter with many blessings na mibaraka kwa wingi to fill your cup ili apate kujeza kikombe chako but, but what we are doing lakini kile ambacho we are hiding our cups from god tunaficha vikombe vyetu kutoka kwa mungu Jesus is tenderly calling today calling today calling today You will sing at home Mtaimba mkiwa nyumbani That one you will sing at home Huo wimbo mtawimbia nyumbani Now you are thinking as if we are not very serious. Eh tunaimba kana kwamba hatujui wa wimbo. You know we are very serious. Unajua kweli sisi tu makinga. Jesus is saying he wants to fill your cup. Yesu anataka ajeze kikombe chako. And you are hiding it. Na wewe ukificha. I am hiding it. Mimi nakificha. How men say. Ni wangapi ambao wanasema hivi? That Jesus the cup is here. Ya kwamba Yesu kikombe ki hapa. Fill it. Hebu pata kukijaza. Like a woman. For Jesus. That could not And then I heard my Savior speaking Do from my way that shall never run dry Fill my cup Lord, I lift it up Lord Come and preach this tasting of my soul Bread of heaven Basi kama uko katika huu mkutano. And you have not been baptized. Na wewe bado hujapokea ubatizo. And you say. Na una nena hivi. I will go. Mimi nitakwenda. We just want to do a prayer for you. Sisi tungependa tukufanyie maombi. Please wherever you are. Eh tafadhali popote ulipo. Please come we do a prayer for you. Tafadhali njoo ili upate maombi. Those who are going to be baptized today. Wale ambao mnaenda kupokea ubatizo siku ya leo. We want to do prayer for you. Tungependa tupate kufanyia maombi. Our church elders are here. Wazee wetu wa kanisa wa hapa. Our pastors are here. Watungaji wetu wako hapa. We want you to come. Tungependa mpate kuja. We want to pray for you. Tungependa tuwafanyie maombi. I am inviting the singers. Mimi nawaalika waimbaji. To come and be on the microphone. Ili waje wasimame kwenye vipasa sauti. As they sing. Wanapoendelea na nyimbo. As you come. Na wewe pia wateremka. So that we share a word of prayer. Ili tuweze kushiriki katika neno la maombi pamoja na. Jesus says come unto me. Yesu asema nyoni kwa mimi. All ye that labor and are heavy laden. Naosumbuka na I will give you rest. When they come. I know they have a song already. I know they have a song already. And all of us will stand. As we all sing that song. Those who have not been baptized. Today is your day. Today is your day. Come so that you can pray. Pastor George you can be in front there Mchungaji Pastor Magoti Please let us all be in front e, here hapa mbele. If there is someone there Kama kuna mtu pale You can come with him Utakuja pamoja na yeye Walk with your daughter e, Tembea na binti yako Walk with your son Tembea na mwana wako Walk with your friend Tembea na rafiki yako Who wants to be baptized Ambao wangependa pokea ubatizo We are waiting for you Tunapata kukusubiria wewe We are waiting for you Tunapata kukusubiria wewe We are waiting for you Tunapata kukusubiri wewe Yes. I can 
just see someone walking. Just walk in front. Don't wait for others. Just Oh, thank you so much. Shake hands with me. I can see you. I can see you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, sister, for coming. Just walk as a child of the king. Oh, thank you for coming. I can see you. Thank you for coming. Just walk. Just walk and come. We are going to do prayers. Just come in front. Jesus is calling for you. I can see God's people coming. You sister for coming. I can see that lady coming with that child. Brother, thank you for walking in front. Jesus is seeing you. He says, come. I am ready to fill your cups. Today is your day. Come to Jesus Christ. Thank you, sister, for coming. Walk as a child of God. A shame devil. A shame Satan. Thank you for coming, madam. Jesus loves you. He says, I will walk. I am ready to walk with you. I will be your people. I will be your God. And you will be my people. I will be your God. And you will be my people. I will always identify myself with you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for coming. Is there anybody coming from Thank you so much for coming. And our Father in heaven sees you. Decide and come. You may have backslidden. You may have been in another church. This is your time. You can even decide and say, Pastor, baptize me today. There is no one who can stop you. For you are you will be baptized. Jesus says, Go ye therefore, baptize them in the name of the Father. In the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for coming. Thank you for walking with the heart. Thank you for walking with the heart. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for coming. Is there anybody we are waiting for? Is there anybody you are waiting for? I can see you. I can see you. I can see that man. I know him. He is coming to Jesus. I know him. Come to Jesus. And thank you for coming. God loves you. Thank you for coming. Jesus loves you. Today if you hear his voice, you know to harden your heart. Today, if you hear his voice, you know the heart of your heart. Because Jesus loves you. And he needs you. We are all going to see others coming. Please come, continue coming. Thank you so much, madam, for coming. Can I pray to God's people? Come, Pastor Magoti. I can see if you are there. And you feel like you need prayer. There is something you need. This is the most special house. And you need special prayer. This is the most special house. You need special prayer. I want to thank these ones who have come. Yes, as I'm telling me, Pastor, continue. They are telling me there is someone yeah. If you are in the church Please come We are not 
Jesus. You are coming to Jesus. You are the coming to your father. We don't want to lock you out. Imagine we will have locked you out. These church members here are very patient. They will never be tired. They will wait for you. Brother, thank you for coming. I can see you walking. Thank you for coming. We are almost going to pray. We are almost praying. Is there a sign of anyone? Is there any anyone If there is anyone coming, this is the time. We have given just one minute. Is it really, is it really pulling the station in your heart? Do I go? How do I look like, like when you go? How do you look like when you die in sin? How do you look like when you will miss the kingdom of God? How will you look like? Right now you might say, I don't want to leave my thing. I don't want to leave my thing. No, how will I look like? When you perish in sin, without change in sin, how do you look like? Just come. This is the last thing. Thank you for coming. I want to invite Pastor Magoti to do a special prayer for these people who have given their hearts to God who have said we must get baptized because Jesus has called us Pastor Magoti is to do a prayer thank you choir now we are going to get a special prayer from Pastor Jaffet Magoti watu wote tusimame abantu banya saa tenena tunataka tufanye maombi asante sana daktari Dijiko tuamini na tuombe baba yetu na Mungu wetu wa mbinguni tumekuona wewe ukizungumza nasi kwa kupitia midomo ya daktari Bernard Gejiko Umezungumza nasi ujumbe wa kipekee Asante Yesu kwa message ya leo Asante kwa watoto wako wa kike na wa kiume wakubwa kwa wadogo vijana na wasichana waliosikia sauti yako ikiita wakatembea kwa miguu yao hawakuangalia nyuso za watu bali wamekuangalia wewe Yesu wamefanya maamuzi makubwa ya kukataa dunia na mambo yake na kuchagua kubatizwa wajiunge na jeshi kubwa la wale wanaotarajia kwenda mbinguni Ninawaweka mikononi mwako masaa haya. Ninakuomba Yesu unayewakumbatia watu kama vile kuku anavyokumbatia vifaranga. Naomba ukawakumbatie mchana wa leo. Naomba ukawabebe kwenye mikono yako. Chungaji George Morara ataingia kwenye maji kuwabatiza kabla mchungaji ajawabatiza kwa maji mengi naomba ukawabatiza naomba baba majina yao ukayafute kwenye kitabu cha wale wanaoangamia majina yao ukayaandike kwenye kitabu cha wale watakaookolewa hata ikitokea mmoja kati ya hawa wanaobatizwa leo akalala usingizi wa mauti alale akiwa na tumaini la uzima wa milele baba asante kwa ushindi wa jina la Yesu watoto wako tuliobatizwa zamani nasi pia tumesimama 
tunaomba ukafufue roho aliyekuwa amekufa ndani yetu tunaomba baba mienendo yetu na tabia zetu zikabadilike sasa tukumbuke vile viapo tulivyo hapa wakati wa ubatizo ili tuishi sawa sawa na wale ambao tunakungoja ukija kwa wakati wa pili tena yawezekana kuna mtu aliyesimama hapo ni mgonjwa anateseka na magonjwa wewe ni tabibu mkuu naomba nguvu yako inayoponya ipate kumponya kwa njia ya kipekee asante kwa daktari Bernard Gijiko endelea kumtumia tena wakati mwingine baba endelea kumpa nguvu endelea kumpa sauti bariki mke wake kwa njia ya kipekee sana hata mama huyo amefunga safari kutoka mbali aje amsapoti mme wake baba bariki ndoa yao wapatie vicheko wapatie amani mchungaji daktari Bernard Gejiko ni mwanadamu kama sisi anaweza akawa na mahitaji yake anaweza akawa na maombi anayokuomba nina kuomba Yesu umsikie kwa haraka yeye na mke wake wakiomba usichelewe kuwajibu baba naomba uwajibu mchungaji huyo ametubariki sana wiki hii ametuimbisha nyimbo nyingi kweli kweli ametumia nguvu kubwa kukutangaza naomba baba sasa na yeye ukambariki kama alivyo tubariki sisi na wewe Yesu ukambariki bariki watoto wake kwa njia ya kipekee wainue e baba Wapa, wapatie akili nyingi darasani wapatie afya njema tunatamani watoto wa daktari Bernard Gejiko wakae watoto wa pekee sana kwa sababu wamezaliwa na wazazi wa pekee ukawalinde baba ukawatende mema wakati mwingine tena Gejiko katika pulpit hii ya Kisi Central atubariki kwa wakati mwingine tena kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu wa maisha yake. Asante kwa sababu umesikia. Ndivyo tunavyokuomba kupitia kwa jina la Yesu Kristo, Bwana, na ndiye mkombozi wetu tunaomba na hata kuamini. Amen. We hand over to pastor and the elders. Tunaomba msimame hivyo, ambao mnapatiswa tusimame hivyo ili tuwape mwelekeo naomba wote mniangalie naomba msonge hapo mbele mniangalie wote tuwapatie mwelekeo songe nyuma mniangalie ah uh, katika hii baptismal certificate ambayo mtapata siku ya leo baada ya upatiso kwa hivyo baada ya hapa mtapewa mwelekeo vile tunafika pale nyanjwa hapo naps hapo ndio utafanyia upatiso kuna 13 faus kuna hadi 13 ambazo ningesoma saa tatu saa kwanza na ninainua mkono wako wa kulia unasema ndio nimekupali atufanye practice kono wa kulia ukisema ndio nimekupali i believe in god the father his son jesus the holy spirit ya pili i accept the death of jesus christ on calvary as the atoning sacrifice for my sins and it is eternal ya tatu i announce the world and it is in full ways and i have accepted jesus christ as my personal savior is on the satatu sa kwanza siku 13 ukipata ikadi ya upatiso singine hizo 11 13 so siku hapa kwa hivyo vile tumeketi hivyo naomba sisi ambao tutapatiswa tuereke pale wengine vile tunatunjwa liver tutapelekwa pale uh, kuna means kuna transport ambayo itawafikisa pale 
uh, wale amba muna nguo mutashugulikiwa iko nguo ya kutosa na mwalika uh, magoti kuna marafiki saka amba wame mtemberea na waleta watu salimu sisi wengine tukierekea pale tutapewa mwerekeo bila tutafika pale nyanchwa riva kapu magoti au wengine tuerekea pale kuna weni amba wame tutemberea uh, magoti atawaleta Watu salimu. Wapenzi wa Bwana Bwana Yesu atifiwe. Abantu banyasae, nyasae nomu ya. Abantu banyasae na bakwanili, wairire. Wairire buya pi. Nyasae abasesenye. Nina marafiki zangu 